Right, hello everybody. If you are watching this live, this is just a quick audio test for me before we start to make sure everything is working. And here we are. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. I say good evening. It's seven o'clock in the UK, obviously different time where you are. Uh, my name is Paul Grogan. Tonight, we're going to be doing a tutorial and playthrough of Bonfire. Now, you'll notice that we are playing this on Tabletopia. The game is not physically out yet. It's going to be coming out later this year, I believe October time. Uh, Hall Games is the publisher. Steffenfeld is the designer. And yeah, I'm going to be teaching some people how to play tonight. So let's go through the people we have with us. Uh, and if you are watching this in the chat, thank you very much for joining in. Let me know if the audio and video is all okay. Um, so uh, in the blue corner, we have Suniva and Johannes from Board Game Ramblings. Good evening. Hello. There nice you go. to be here. Now, what have you two been up to today? I've been working. Okay. And Johannes as well. So oh, there we go, uh, just got home ready to play some games. Yeah. Now you told me earlier on that you're both Stefan Feld fans. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. He's one of our favorite designers. So right. we're really looking forward to a new Stefan Feld game. Yeah. And are you both going to be playing this or is it just yourself, Sonova, that's going to be playing this? Uh, I'm the main player, but I'm yep. probably going to ask him for some tips <laughs> for, for, from Johannes. So do you have the phrase backseat driver? Where are you from? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we you, may not see. Gonna, not, it's not going to happen. So anyway, it's usually a lot more better at games than right. I am. So I'm just going to be in the chat. Okay. Having fun. Okay. Uh, moving on to the uh, the yellow seat, Mr. Tom Heath. Hello. Now, is it true that you are the number one member of the Stefan Feld fan club? Yes, I founded the fan club. There you go. In the 1800s. <laughs> How many members does it have now? Only is me. It, is it no? I've joined. I, I, well, ha, I have to be the I have to be the best Stefan Feld player in the society, <laughs> so no one's allowed to join. That's that's true. Well, I, I did send off my twenty five pounds membership per thing, but oh, I never that's heard. The, that's the processing fee. You're not guaranteed <laughs> membership from that. Uh, yeah. So, favorite Stefan Feld game, Tom? Oh, Trajan. I think is, that's what is the, leapt to my mind. Is the correct answer. Because that's mine as well. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, it's the correct answer. Right, okay. And finally, last but not least, uh, Mr. Russell Chapman from Chits for Giggles. For ch yes, hello. How are you doing? Sorry. I'm doing, I'm doing good. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me on, by the way. I'm very excited Thanks about this. Game. Come and where are you on the Stefan Feld fandom scale? Um, uh, I, I will say this. The first time I ever played um, a Stefan Feld game, I didn't know it was a Stefan Feld game. Right. Um, and I think I may have played about three. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, I'll let the audience decide on my fandom now. <laughs> <laughs> what were the other two that you've played then? Um, Carpe Diem yeah. and uh, Macau. You played, played Macau with, with me, didn't you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. So, um, yeah. Now, just a quick introduction, because everybody who is on the channel tonight has their own channels. Let's just go through everybody again. First of all, Sunover and Johannes, tell us a little bit about Board Gaming Ramblings. We ramble about board games in English, which isn't our first language, but we know the words. So yeah. we talk about almost all kind of games, but we usually tend to love heavy, medium, heavy Euro games. Mm -hmm. We are planning on doing a lot more playthroughs now, because that's what we've been wanting to do in April for a year, so we yeah. are going to watch that, but uh, we do reviews, top tens, the normal stuff. Yes, and and as you say, some of your videos are just ramblings about a particular thing. Yes. And I'll be honest with you, they're the ones that I enjoy the most, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, Tom, let's go back to you. Uh, just tell us a bit about your YouTube channel and stuff. I, I do playthroughs. I play through board games against the glass cat. You do? Well, I used to. <laughs> I'm, having, I'm on a brief hiatus, but I'll be back soon. Yeah. Do you want to tell us about the brief hiatus or not? Yeah, I've, I've, broke, I've broken my collarbone and Dear. my shoulder blade. Oh, all oh of my that gosh. stuff. 
Yeah. So, so the the good hand is all strapped up. Right. And oh wow! I, I, I filmed a video today, the first video okay. since I've done it, and right. it was it was slow going. Right. Try, try, trying to make my right hand do things. It won't <laughs> even point straight. <laughs> It'll be all right though. So if you don't win tonight, we can blame that. Yes. Right. All all of my game losses for the last few weeks are all down <laughs> to that. All down to that. Uh, and Russ, just tell us about your YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm uh, the, the for chits and giggles um, is the name, and um, uh, yeah, we do like a mix of stuff. Um, it's a mix of written and video content. I um, like do some previews and some sort of reviews. But yeah, I, I, it's kind of funny because I don't really feel like I, I've nailed this description of what I do. <laughs> but I think the biggest thing I do is is I'm on Twitter and I um, yeah. and, and Instagram and I post about games and stuff. Yeah. That's kind of like my stream of consciousness. It's all about board games. So yeah, yeah. that's probably the the best description and of what I do. What's been going on in the world over the last few months has probably changed what's happened to your um, channel what, more, terms... more than the others. Um, wait, um, I, might, I feel like you're trying to lead me into something, but I'm... No, 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 I'm just saying, since, since lockdown oh. started, you've been doing a lot <laughs> oh, yes. of playthroughs yes, right. during right. the day and things like yes, that. No, you, you did a very good job then, and I completely miss it. Yeah, so I've been doing live streaming on Twitch, Lots, um, which yeah. I've really enjoyed. Um, playthroughs of solo games mainly, and it's uh, funny how many games in my collection already had solo modes. So I yeah. was like, oh, great, so I'll start doing those. Yeah. Um, and I stopped for the last couple of weeks because I've been uh, on hiatus myself, but I haven't broken a collarbone or anything. I've just uh, <laughs> I've just had to take a break. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting back into it now. So yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, I'm on Twitch. There you go. Right. Okay. So enough of the introductions. Let's talk about Bonfire. Uh, and what we're going to use tonight, um, we're going to use one of my methods for teaching people how to play games, whereby I'm not going to spend 30 to 40 minutes explaining every single rule up front. What we're going to do is I'm going to explain the basics and then we're going to start playing and we will explain it as we go. Everybody who's playing tonight, this is their first game of this. None of them have played it before, so everybody's in the same boat. Um, that was a, not an intentional pun because this game does have, <laughs> does, does have boats in it. Um, but yeah, by the end of this video, well, in fact, by probably about a third of the way through this video, you will, you will know how to play the game. Okay, so let's, let's talk, first of all, I have a document here which I've written on how to teach bonfire and I've just lost it. <laughs> no, I haven't lost it. Here it is. Right, okay, so first of all, thematic intro. Because as we all know, Steffenfeld games are very, very rich in theme. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the theme of this game is that there is this planet, okay? Uh, and each of you is basically a group of gnomes who live in the forests on this planet. The cities are occupied by what you call big folk, which is like humans. Um, but because the, the, the light from the suns is, is way too distant, it wouldn't be enough to, to sustain life on the planet. There are these like ethereal creatures called guardians, and they have lit these bonfires in the cities. And although you don't live in the cities yourselves as these forest gnomes, you rely on the light and the energy coming from these bonfires in order to keep your society alive. Now, what happened a few weeks ago is these bonfires started to go out. And eventually you thought, well, what's going on? And you thought you'd have a wander into one of these cities to see what had happened. And you realise that all the bonfires have gone out and the city is completely uninhabited, apart from one guardian who is left in the city. Now, it turns out that the guardians have actually now left the cities. They have taken um, all of their bonfires with them and you have to ask them for help. They will give you certain tasks to do. And once you have accomplished those tasks, you're going to be basically relighting the bonfires. And it turns out that you're not the only group of gnomes that wants to do this because every player in the game represents a group of gnomes that is trying to relight the bonfires. OK, so that's the theme behind it. And if you actually look at the board, you see that we have these four islands here with the guardians on. They are the guardians that I mentioned. You each have a player board which sort of represents the city and you each have one guardian marker here. And the tasks on these islands are these tiles here. So each of these tasks, um, once you take this task, what's depicted on the task is, is your thing that you're trying to do. The victory points that it will be worth is printed on the tile. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking the task from here. You're going to be putting it on one of your spaces. You can put it on any space. And then once you have achieved that task, you flip it over 
and the bonfire has been lit. And it will be worth that many points at the end of the game. Okay. Now, there are three different categories of tasks and bonfires. There are the blue ones, uh, which are the easiest and they're worth the least points. The red ones are a bit more difficult and the actual the yellow ones are quite quite hard to achieve, but they're worth the most points. Where you put the task is important, um, but that is one of the things that you're trying to do in the game. There's lots of different ways to play this game. There's lots of different approaches, but ultimately it is going to be the player with the most points at the end of the game that wins. We will track the points on this track here and there is actually quite a lot of end game scoring as well, which I'll come to later on. But the gist of it is moving your boat around, picking up the tasks, doing things to complete the tasks, lighting the bonfires. Okay. The game is played in a series of turns and I'm going to, I was going to roll the gaming rules dice. And I, has anybody got a dice handy? <laughs> I don't seem to have one with me. Oh, that's no, in fact, in fact, we don't, we don't need to, we don't need to. The random, the Tabletopia has already determined the start player and it is green. The reason I know it's you, Russ, is you have a tile attached to your player board here, which is different from everybody else's. Okay, uh, so the Tabletopia interface has already randomised the start player oh, for us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah uh, which is good. So you are the start player. Okay, and what's going to happen is simply, there are no rounds in this game or phases or anything like that. You take a turn, then Tom takes a turn, then Sunniva takes a turn, and so on and so on. You just keep taking turns until the end of the game. Now, I'm actually going to mention the end of the game now, just so that it's out there. But you'll notice around the Great Bonfire, uh, this is the High Council. And what you're going to be doing, whenever you complete a task, you will move a novice into the High Council. Okay. There are also these common tasks here. So it might be that these get moved here as well. And once there are 10 novices in total on seats in the High Council, and that's because it's a three player game. Once there are 10 of them, the end of the game is triggered and we start a five round countdown and then it, then we do final scoring. OK, so that that is how the flow of the game works. Now, there's not going to be in any here for a while, but then all of a sudden it's going to it's going to really ramp up. Also notice if you just have a quick look at this board here, some of these islands have two tasks on. Some of them have three. That's because we are using the setup for a three player game. So in a four player game, all of the islands would be occupied. A three player game, you remove one from each of the four outer islands. And in a two player game, it, there's even less. These are all randomized as well. Uh, so yeah, this, this has been done all for us. This has all been randomized. Uh, these are the path tiles. They've been randomized. We have four of them. Uh, these are portals. They've been randomized. These gnomes here, they've been randomized. There's a lot of stuff that Tabletopia has done for us before we started. Okay. Right, so uh, player one, what we're going to do, Russ, if it's all right with you, we're just going to jump in and we're going to go through your first turn of the game. But sure. before we do that, there is something we're not going to do today, but I will mention this now because this is something that you would normally do before the game starts. If we just look at Russ's board here, and in fact, everybody's board is the same, you have in the center of your play area, you have a fate tile. Mm -hmm. So before the game starts, you may choose to swap that fate tile with the, the one winner. that's in the middle of your stack. Now, for this demo game, I would suggest we just don't bother doing that because neither none of you actually know whether that's any use or not. But just be aware when you do play this game properly, you are allowed to swap the middle tile uh, for, or your starting tile for the middle one in your board. OK, mm -hmm. what you all now need to do before the game starts is you need to take action tiles corresponding to the three colors on your starting fate tiles. So Rush, you get a red action tile, a brown action tile, and a purple action tile. Uh, yeah, cool. Okay, so you just take those. Tom, you get a blue one, a red one, and a green one. And Sonova, okay. you get a red one, a blue one, and a brown one. Cool. Okay, you've also got two wild cards as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, these can be used, as you probably would expect, as anything. OK, so on your turn, you actually have three options. But at the start of the game, option one is not allowed and option three is not allowed. So we'll we'll come back to those later on. OK, option two is the only action is the only thing that you're allowed to do on the first turn of the game. And option two is actually the most complicated one to explain because it allows you to do one of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different actions. OK, but what I'm going to get you to do 
is I'm going to get you to choose whether you want to use your red action tile, the purple action tile, or the brown one. Now, I will tell you very briefly what each of them do. Mm -hmm. The purple one allows you to rotate the great bonfire in the middle of the board and then take mm -hmm. some bonuses. Mm -hmm. The brown one will allow you to take uh, one of the gnomes and the blue gnomes, these are specialists. Once you have one of those specialists, it gives you a permanent ability that you have for the whole game. So getting those early is quite good. The red tile allows you to take a task, but you can only take a task if your boat is at the island. So you okay. can't actually use your red task right now. If you really wanted to, you could use one of your wild cars as a blue tile, which yeah. allows you to move your boat and then you can take a task. So out of those choices, which one of those would you like to do? Um, I, I'm just thinking about taking a special uh, specialist. Yeah, I'm just checking what they do. So I, so I can let's see go that. through the specialists. OK, yeah, the one yeah, on the left. Great. Every time you move your boat, you can move it an extra one space. Uh, yes. OK. OK. Yeah. The next one is every time you rotate the great bonfire, mm -hmm. you can rotate it an extra one space. Mm -hmm. This next one is every time you complete a common task. Now, these common tasks are here. You're not, yeah. you're not going to be completing those until the last third of the game, probably. But whenever mm -hmm. you do, you get a yellow wild tile and also a gold resource. Mm -hmm. And a gold resource counts as one of any resource. OK. Yeah. This next card here, this is actually an end game scoring card. But every guardian that you have protecting a bonfire at the end of the game is worth an additional two points. OK. OK, we'll come on to that later on. Uh, this next one, this means that every time you place a fate tile into your player area, which we haven't mentioned yet, but you will be doing that, any time you cover up one of these spaces, you will get that bonus. If you have this specialist, it means that you will get double the bonus. Ooh, that okay? one. <laughs> and finally, when you're placing fate tiles into your player area, you are not allowed to go over the edge. This specialist allows you to go over the edge. You still have to have one square on the board, and um, yes, and, and and the tiles once they're placed, they still activate the bonuses and stuff like yeah, right. Okay, yeah. cool. I think I'll take this. Um, I think I'll take this one. Okay, so you're choosing the action of taking a gnome, right? I do now, have to spend a token, right? Yeah. You, so there's two options here, and this is printed on the board here. Whenever you take a gnome, you either pay two action tiles mm -hmm. and one resource, and the resource yeah. is depicted on the gnome itself. Or you pay one action tile and two resources. Mm -hmm. So how do you want to pay for that action? Um, I think that I will pay it with uh, the two tiles and the resource. Okay, so you have to use one of your wild tiles. Yes. There well, this seems like a good idea because yeah. I um because I'm gonna obviously try and get more of these action yes. tiles using this card. So yeah. Now um, you are allowed to have here. six gnomes in total during the game. And they go under these notches? They go, yeah, they go under your player board on the notches. Right. And yeah, you can right. have a maximum of six of them. Cool. Now, your right. other option when taking a gnome is you could have taken one of these elders. But these elders, you don't want to be taking them at the start of the game because they get you a bunch of points when you take them based on what you've currently got. So if you did take one of those now, you wouldn't actually get any points for it. Mm -hmm. Right, that is your move done. So play passes round. Uh, and it is now Tom's go. So, Hello. Tom, you have... Uh, you could move your boat and then take a task, or you could take a path tile. Now, the path tiles are these things. You could take one of those if you wanted. Um, yeah. Or, or you could <laughs> I, I use a wild card to do tile. something else. Okay, so to take a path tile, you already start with one path tile, okay? This is your starting path tile. This is free. The cost to take the next path tiles is actually printed on your playboard. You see here there's a little icon. Oh, yeah. Just there. That means it's going to cost you one action tile to take a path tile that goes there. The next one will cost you one. The next one will cost you one. The last three will cost you two each. Right. Okay. So what you do is you spend that action tile. Yeah. Dump it in that. Right. Take any one of the four path tiles, which is currently available, and slot it in here. Now, the color is important, but I would probably at this stage recommend taking blue. Okay. Does the... Does the symbol matter uh yes well, the symbol is what now. you're going to get when the guardian moves onto it uh, okay okay well I, I like the look of this shell yeah so that goes there 
And then what we do is we replenish it. Now at this point, if all four of these were the same color, the player who triggered that may optionally get rid of them all, put them to the bottom of the stack and draw four more. But it's not mandatory. You don't have to do that. Right, that is, that is your action done. So we move on. It is now Sunova. You've yes. got a uh, boat. Oh, you've got similar actions. Yes. Okay. I mean, that's good for the purposes of the teaching because there's some actions <laughs> I don't need to explain yet. How about, yeah. do you want to move your boat just to do something else, something different? I, I, my thought was to take the, the specialist oh, to yeah. move my boat further the next round. Oh, yeah, we should have refreshed that. There you go. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So that was my thought. Yeah. So, so you have to spend. Uh, then I'm, then I'm going to spend two of the um, so one wild and one yeah. other and one resource because I don't have a choice, right? You could spend two resources oh. and one tile. Remember, gold is a wild card. Oh, that is true. Yeah, so you uh, could do that. Yeah, but I'll do it the first way just to make it easy. Okay. Okay. Hmm. There you go. So you oh. spend those and you yeah. take this one. Perfect, thank you. Okay, and then that replenishes. If you want to know what any of these do, just ask, but you've each got the rule book open on your other screen, so you That's can correct. look them up when we need to. Right, okay, so play passes back to Russ. Um, Ooh, quick. Yeah. Um, I think that I'm going to place a fate tile. You can't. Oh, wait. Um, option one is not yet available for you, and neither wait. is option three. When is one other available? Option one will be available for you as soon as you only have one action tile left. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. That's so you can't do fine. that just yet. Yeah. I remember reading that in the rules. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, so I I'd, I'd probably recommend that. playing the purple one at this stage. Um, the purple one lets mm. you... Uh, it's the great bonfire. Yeah, let's do that. I like the idea of okay. using the it. reason right. why I'm suggesting one, right? doing that it's one. So normally, when you play one purple action tile, you mm -hmm. rotate the great bonfire one space clockwise, mm -hmm. and then you get all of the bonuses, right? Or you could spend two purple action tiles and rotate it twice. Or if you spend three, you can rotate it wherever you want. Okay, mm -hmm. so one for one, two for two, and three for anywhere. However, at the start of the game, you will notice it is actually not pointing to an area. It's pointing here. The first player to use the great bonfire in the game can rotate it any way you want to. Um, just to clarify, you said get all the bonuses, but it's actually two of three. It's actually two, rule? yeah. yeah. So I would recommend... I mean, there's a few things here. If there is a particular resource or an action tile that you want, go for yeah. that one. But I will just mention portals because portals yes. are special. Portals um, yeah, must sorry. be taken in the or in the reverse order of your player board. So, and you, if you zoom in and look at your yeah. portals, there is an icon. So, Russ, so the first one. one you must take is that one. So, yeah. this is why going first is on the Great used. Bonfire is great because you can get the exact one that you want. Okay, so I just need to find a matching symbol, which is this one, I think. And, yep. Uh, there should be two oh, of gold. each, I think. Mm. So What's the other? The, the, these are the three things: a portal and then these yeah. things here. So, right? so I can put. So the three things are a portal tile, oh. uh, an action tile, yeah, and a resource. And you choose two out of those three things. So you can't yeah. take two portal tiles, but you could take one portal tile and something else. I'm going to take the gold. Uh, yep. so, yeah, I'm going to point it um, there. Yeah, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take the gold. And you as take well. the gold. Okay. Yeah. So that portal tile slots in to there. There yeah. we go. And you take, take a gold. gold. Sweet. And that is and your I'm go done. done. Right, Tom, back to you. Are okay. you going to go sailing? Yes. Okay. That sounds good. So you spend your you spend your boat token. Yeah. And the first time in the game that you go sailing, you can move your boat to any of the islands. Oh no. Okay. Once your boat is on an island. Yeah. You must then, in future, you spend one token to move it one path, two tokens to move it two paths, and three tokens to move it anywhere. Okay. 
Now, what you're looking at, the island that you want to go to, you've got two choices here. If you want an early guardian, go to one of the guardian islands. Or, if you're looking at these tasks, you might think, oh, that's an easy task. I can do that. Go to that island and, and get that task. So, have a look at the blue ones first. You don't need to take a blue one at the start of the game, but it's generally recommended when you're playing the game to take a blue one just to get you yeah, started. Just get an easier one. Get an easier okay. one, yeah. Right, let's have a look at things. So... Again, all of these are the fully right explained in the rulebook. Yeah. I think... Let's let's get a Guardian. Oh, right. Okay. What will the Guardian do? Uh, well, they all do the same thing. The colour the color doesn't matter, except matter for... The for yeah, there are some specialists that require Guardians of a particular colour. Okay. But you're not allowed to have two Guardians of the same colour. Okay. Oh, well, maybe then. Maybe it's an idea to get the task that wants the Guardian. Okay, yeah. Because be, there's, there's multiple guardians. There are multiple guardians. So you're going to move your so, boat to this island? Yeah, so... Right. So, so just... one boat moves you to the island. Okay. And that costs you a blue action tile. Yeah. Right, now, the boat action is special because immediately after doing the boat action, you may take another action immediately as oh. long as that second action is taking a task or retrieving a guardian. Oh, okay. So I will, I'll take a task. Okay, so to take a task, here's how you do it. You have to spend one task tile, which is the red one. Yeah. It's always, um, it's always one for the first one that you take in the game. You take the task from here. Yeah. And you put it on any of the spots on your player board. And I'm going to give you a hint. You, you've taken this a blue one? path. Yeah, so put it on there. Because if you line the colours up, that's good. Now, Oh, to, right. That's what the colours are. I yeah, see. To do that, you must make an offering. Now, the offering is always two resources. And the offering comprises of the resource which is depicted on the island. So that is a blossom. Okay. Yeah, so you must pay a blossom. Yeah. And if you look above and below your player board, you have two stacks of offering tiles. Ah. Okay, and only the top one is visible from each stack. You can choose to either now give a shell or a root. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay, I'll, I'll give a shell. Yeah, so you give a shell. So what you do is you take this offering tile from here. Yeah. And you put it onto the space. Oh. Okay, and Tabletopia okay. will automatically flip it face down for you. Uh, oh. Onto the, onto the, yeah, that's it. Oh, onto this Just on there. There we there go. There you go. Now, obviously you've taken that task. Nobody else can take that task. But you now have made an offering to that island. If you wanted to make another offering to that same island, that would cost you two action tiles. Yeah. And if you wanted to take a third one from the same island, that would be three action tiles. So it's always one to take your first task tile from an island. But if you want to take multiple tasks from the same island, it's going to cost you more tiles. Okay. Right. Okay, now, quick note about the resources, because you've all now been spending action tiles and resources. Remember, a gold is a wild resource, and a yellow tile is a wild action. You can also, at any time, use any two resources as if they were one other one, and any two action tiles as if it was one other one. Okay? So it's a little bit inefficient, but you do have lots of options if you are need, if you need to pay a certain type of resource. Okay, right. So Tom, you have a task which is to get basically get one of the one of the purple guardians, and as soon as you've done that, let me know. Okay. Right. Back to Sonova. Um, Paul, just someone yes. just letting you know someone donated um, in the chat. Oh, Christmas thank you very much. I didn't I didn't see that. Oh, there we go. Icarus Christmas burn. Thank you very much, Icarus Christmas burn. But that's Kent. Thank you very much. And what's he said? What's he said? Great to see on a Feld preview that's not on Kickstarter and available this year. Yes, because <laughs> Feld's got a lot of games coming out this year. Obviously, there is the, the new versions of, um, of Bruges and Macau. But yeah, this is a new Feld game and it is coming out this year. And when I spoke to Ralph from Hall Games, they because they basically turn up at uh, Essen and that's where they do most of their sales. And Essen is, is of course, not happening physically this year. And Ralph was in the position of saying, oh, do we delay this? But he's made the decision. He's going to go ahead. He's going to publish the game as if he would have normally published it, just not get the sales from, from Essen. So 
Yeah, great job. Okay, so I will try. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the iPad a bit closer. There we go. So I can see the chat. Right, back to blue. What would you like yes, to do? Yes, um, I want to say a word about. Okay, so you spend a spend a blue plan. action tile. Yep. Yes. Oh, and Pegasus are in the chat as well. Uh, Thank you very much for joining in, and I'm sure Ralph should be in the chat. I think he was. Um, so where are you going to go? Uh, like what I can see on the the islands, there are no I like tasks that I am like on my way to completing. So Not yet. I think I'm just going to go ahead and go take a. Um, a uh, guardian yes okay. are there any like color that i want specifically no well only because of this task here is to have yeah. a, a gray one and a purple one um yeah other than that at the moment there isn't any difference between them yes okay so then i can start by taking a purple one mm -hmm. so then i move my boat over so you move your boat oh. over to this island here Yes, I'm trying to move my boat. Oh, I can't do it. There. There we go. So right. Move your boat to that island yes. and you take a guardian. Now, where does the guardian go? The guardian goes on your starting path tile or well, actually not even on the path tile, but on the starting space with your other one. So it goes here. All guardians start here. OK. And we'll talk about the guardian's movement in a minute when somebody's got a different tile. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. uh, no, there is something do I, I need forgot. To sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. Pay something for yes, that. You, you absolutely do. To take a guardian, you must spend uh -huh. a white action tile. I don't have that. No, so you'll so... have to use your. your yes. Yoker. Yeah, there you go. Yep. So that's what the white action tiles do. The white action tiles have actually got two uses. One of them is to take a guardian. And there we go. Right, okay. So play passes round. It is back to Russ. Now, Could you still have two action tiles left, so you can't choose option one yet. That's fine. Um, can I just check? the? Yeah. When you you make an offering, so I'm planning to, to go use the wild as a boat sailing and then yep. make an offering. Yep. Um, and then when you, when do you actually get the, when do you, as soon as you have achieved the uh, task, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, then you can complete it at that stage, right? Anytime during your turn, as long as you've achieved it. No. Right? Okay. Completing a task or a igniting action. a bonfire is option three. So oh, oh, okay. It actually takes your turn to do it. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. All right, so here's my plan. I'm going to spend the wild and I'm going to... Oh, I, I just almost put it in my hand and said... As if, so as if it was a boat? Boat, so that's right, yeah. yeah. So then I'm going to move to the island here. I mean... Yeah. It doesn't matter where I put it right now, right? No, nope, um, no. Nope. And I'm going to take that that fancy uh, red task there. Ooh. Um, right, okay. And I can put it anywhere, right? You so can I... put it anywhere, but you kind of want to line the colours up if you can. So you don't want to that... put it on the first space. That's right, yeah. Um, I I'm just thinking, like, I don't know whether it's better to put this, like, early. I know later means that I can get more resources from the Guardian, but, mm -hmm. like, if, say, I put it here, right? Yeah, if I complete it, I've got to the end of the game to to get a guardian there, right? Yeah, okay, absolutely. Fine. Okay, so so I'm going to use the other tile to make the offering. Yeah. Um, so remember, an offering is always two resources. One of them yes. is printed on the island, which is a shell. Yeah. And the other one yeah. for you is either fruit or a blossom. Okay, so is the grey thing the shell? The grey thing is the shell. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I will use the oh what's Oh, blue one, I've already paid for that. Okay, yeah. so... The, you could use the a fruit. fruit yeah, there we go. All right. Yep. I didn't actually know that, but luckily uh, I had the right stuff. You did. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so then that's done, and I basically take the fruit tile... Take the fruit put offering the tile, and you put it, put yeah, it there down go. there. Yeah. And there you go. So I am complete. You are done. All right, wonderful. See, Tom, you're a trailblazer. You set out with your boat, and everybody else went, oh, that's a good idea. Let's follow Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, riding the waves. Yeah. Right. So you still have two action tiles left, so you're not allowed to choose option one, I'm afraid. Right. Oh, but I can do anything. You can do anything. 
Okay, so it's it it would be. What do I pay to move a lot on the ship? Uh, so one blue action tile will move you one. Uh, as the tiles. Yeah, two blue action tiles will move you two, and three blue action tiles will move you wherever you want. Right. So would I? I don't think I would have the resources to get what I want. Remember, you can always uh, spend no. gold as anything. And oh yeah. You can always use two for one as well. So. Ah, so maybe I have got the resources. You pretty much always have the resources to do what you yeah. want. It's just whether you want to spend the extra ones. Yeah. Uh. Sorry to interrupt. Well, oh, just no, a quick fine. question. When yep. I um, when I complete a task. Yes. Um, I can do it without a path connected to it and connect it later, Correct. right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah, fine. I'm yeah. Good. Don't worry. <laughs> I think I'll... So is this... Is moving my ship... Oh, not that. Is moving my ship... Is this this a lane? Yes. Going just... It's just go to the next yeah, island. That's yeah, to it, yeah. So that would cost me one... That would cost you one wild blue action tile. Yep. Action tile. Now, and... are you going to take the free bonus move? Oh, yes. And that's, okay. that's take a task, isn't it? Take a task. So that costs you a red action tile. So that's my other one. Yeah. And then I'm just going to... I'm going to be hopeful. Yeah. That and that costs you uh, a shell and then so either a fruit or a root. My gold. And I will spend... Oh, fruit sounds better. Fruit. Okay. So you got two tasks. There we go. All right. There we go. Uh, okay. So back to blue. Yes, uh, I can build some things. And uh, the option one is... Option one is now available to you. So let's explain okay, option yeah. one. You are only allowed to choose option one if you have zero or one action tiles remaining, which is why we haven't yeah, mentioned I'm... it until now. You have one I'm action tile remaining. Sure. Yeah, but so, where did it go? So you are allowed to do option one if you want to. So I will explain what option one is. Okay, option one yes. is taking either the top fate tile from your column or the bottom one, your choice, and placing it somewhere in here. Okay. And yep. then you will get action tiles corresponding to the colors that is printed on it. So in this case, you would get a brown one, a white one, and a green one. And just bear with me, my iPad has just stopped the YouTube video, so I just need to check that we are still going out. It could be that my iPad looks, just died. It looks like it's going live. We're still going out? Okay, it's just my iPad had a glitch. Okay, so you would get, in this case, you would get a brown action tile, a white one, and a green one. However, if you are clever and you manage to connect them to ones of the same colour, then you get an extra one. So in this case, you would actually, if you put it there, you'd get two brown, one white, and one green. Oh, okay. I'm looking at the wrong board. I was so confused. <laughs> uh, yeah, On just give me a here. second. Okay. Yeah, I'm here now. Thank yeah. you. So <laughs> if, you, if you were to put it here, you'd get a yes. brown, a white, and a green. If you put it here, yep. you'd get two brown, a white, and a green. Yes. So basically, whenever you connect up multiple ones, you will get more action tiles. Now, the other thing, you can rotate these however you want. Mm. And if you cover up one of these symbols, you will get whatever's printed on them. Yeah. Okay. Now, I, I'm not going to mention endgame scoring in detail just yet, but I will tell you at the end of the game, you are going to score, I think it's two points for every fate tile which you still have left here. Mm. So the, le the less of them you use, the better it is. But you do want to mm. use them in order to get more stuff. Hmm. Okay, so option one is available to you. You don't have to do it, but I think in your situation, I think you do yeah, actually I, have to do it. I actually want to do it, I think, because, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I probably want to cover up some gold so I get some gold. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, so... in fact, it, it's three points. Three points at the end of the game for every fate tile that you have left. Oh, Okay, you so you kind of want to be efficient with them. You as kind well. of want to be efficient, yeah. And this is yes. in the, in the game that we ran last night. Um, Adam used all of his fate tiles, and he's actually just put a tactical tip in the chat: do not run out of fate tiles. It's really bad. 
<laughs> oh, okay. So, is there any other ways to get action tiles um, other than the bonfire and these? Uh, that's it. That's it. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, no, there is one more way, but it's it's yeah here. <laughs> Convoluted. Yes. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, uh, yeah. So, okay. And do, okay. Um, I want to do some more sailing, I think. So, yeah. Just gonna... No, let's go for that one. Okay. Yeah. And whereabouts do you want oh. to put it? You want to put it there? E... Oh, I can... I could rotate this as well. You can well. rotate it, yep. I'm trying to do that now. Oh, that go. was the wrong way. Yeah. Uh, table... Yeah, Tabletopia is totally new for me, so... <laughs> Q and E is the, is the keys on the keyboard to rotate it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of want it there. I'm happy. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. So uh, you gain a gold because you've covered up a gold. Yep. And then you get two brown action tiles, one white and one green. <laughs> only one gold, eh? <laughs> yeah, only one gold. Now, <laughs> so, reason, don't worry. right, from now on, as long as we all now know how that rule works, here's a little tip that will speed up the game for you, and it will speed up the game tonight. As soon as you decide that you're choosing the option of placing a fate tile, the next player can start their turn. Because right, nothing, gonna... nothing you do at that point will actually interfere with anybody else. So, right. right. Do that then. Tom. Done. No, not Oops. Tom. Russ. Sorry. <laughs> I've, um, I've, I've placed table. that here, so I should yep. get two gold. You do because of your specialist gnome. Yeah. And you get two go. purple, a green, and a blue. And Tom, your go. So I think, can I choose any of my fake nope. tiles? No, top or the bottom. Bo top or the bottom. Top or the bottom, <laughs> yeah. I will go... I'll go bottom then. But well, you're doing the same, aren't you? You're choosing a fake tile as well. Yeah, I've got no, yeah. I've got no action tiles. Okay. So if I go there, I get a bonus blue and a yeah. bonus gold. Yeah, exactly. Uh, life flat. It will go there. I'll, I'll work that out. There you go. Uh, right. So I'll grab this. Okay, so everybody took fake tiles. Son of a, back to your go. <laughs> now, you've got some yeah, new action quick. tiles. Okay. What did you say? You've got some new action tiles that we haven't we haven't yes. seen. There is another use for the white one. Yeah. And I'll tell you if so. Using a white token is actually there's two different uses for it. We've seen one of them, which was to collect a guardian. But the other yeah. thing you can do with a white token is to start a procession, which basically starts moving your guardians along the path, collecting resources as they go. Oh. Um, is that uh, like relevant for me right now? Um, yeah, you could if you wanted to spend this, and you would move one of them forward because there can only be one on a space. So whenever you okay. move, whenever you start a procession, all of your guardians move, but there can only be one per space. So in this case, only one mm. of them would move. But I can just move like one space, and I have to spend more to move more spaces. Yep. Two, two, two action tiles would move you two spaces and three action tiles would move you three spaces. Yes, I'm a little keen on putting on some more paths before okay. I move my guardians, but yeah. uh, I don't know, is there a particular color I would want or is it the same? Um, the only real importance of the color of the path is to line them up with the color of the bonfires. So, because oh, so you don't, I don't have... You don't have any at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. So taking a path tile would be the green action tile. Uh, yes. Uh, how many how many colored paths is there? Uh, Are there three, three colors? Yep. Yep. Same yeah. Same as the tasks. It's blue, blue, okay. red, and yellow. So I kind of want the oh I'm just spilling my beans here, but I kind of <laughs> want the uh, <laughs> task over here. So maybe I want a red passage to line up with that so the color of the guardian uh isn't the same as the color of the path tiles no i meant the on the task oh right sorry yeah you're about to get a red task so you probably want a red path tile yeah yes so i'm gonna do that okay do i pay anything more for 
for uh, doing that? No, it's simply you just spend one green tile, one, one, one green action tile, and you take a path tile. Yep. All right. Slots in there. And then we replenish it with a new one from the stack, which should flip over. And there we go. Right. So, Russ, over okay. to you. Joke. All right. I'm going to, um, I'm just debating whether to, I think I'm going to, I don't really want to, but I'll spend two purple tiles. Okay. To move it twice. Twice. Yeah. I'll take, um, oh, wrong way. Oh, that way. So I need to take this portal to, um. Because that's the next one for you. That's correct. And then yep. I'm going to take the red, the red tile. The red action tile, yep. yeah. Yeah, so that's my turn done, I think. Done. Right, Tom. Okay, I think, so it's the purple one, right, to move the... Purple one to move the great bonfire. bonfire. So you just move oh, it I'm... one. Yes, yeah, so move it one. Right. It's, it's, it's worked out better now. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> I think, uh, the right, I think, so I, I move it with the wheel? Yep. Ah, there we go. There you go. So uh, this is the right symbol, I think, for me. It is, yeah. And oh, I've no, got it I in my hand. And uh, I'll take the wild uh, action tile as well. Okay. And that's <laughs> is that everything. It's it really want to go. It doesn't want to go on the bit. <laughs> yeah, this stack of tiles is slightly too close to it. It's got its I own gravitational like... pull. Paul, you might want to just like edge the camera so it doesn't show that and then really bother some people. What's that? <laughs> like, oh, just the fact that it doesn't sit flush, but I was only joking. Oh, I fixed it. I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Are you done, Tom? I think so. Okay. Right. Now, at this point, let's talk about end game scoring because you're all doing stuff now, which is great, but I'm going to now sort of tell you how you're going to score points at the end of the game. So, at the end of the game, each of your lit bonfires will score you points. Okay. Mm -hmm. You probably worked that out already, but the bonfires score points at the end of the game rather than during the game. Oh. The next thing on the list, and I'm looking at this player aid here, this actually has all of the end game scoring on it, okay? So okay. lit bonfire is between two and eight points. The next thing on there is if you have a guardian protecting the bonfire, that is also worth between two and eight points. Now, oh. how you get a guardian protecting a bonfire is... When you're moving the guardian up the path, instead of it moving on to the next one, it can instead move, if there was a portal, and only if there was a portal, it can move to protect the bonfire. Okay, so it costs a movement point. There has to be a portal there. The bonfire has to be lit, which means the novice won't be there. What you do is you put it guarding the bonfire. Now the points, and that guardian is then stuck there for the rest of the game. The points that it's worth is actually printed, you can just about see it, on just underneath the novice. And the, it goes from two to eight, and it goes up. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, depending on how far away oh, I see. the bonfire is. Okay, so that's only if you've got a guardian protecting it. Right, the next one is, very simply, for every bonfire that you have next to a portal tile, it's worth two points. So the portal tiles are really good anyway, if they are next to a lit bonfire. Mm -hmm. The next one is if you have a lit bonfire next to a path tile of the matching colour, that's two points. Uh, the next one is either four or seven points for every common task that you have completed. So let's have a quick look at the common tasks. Mm -hmm. These are the four common tasks in the game. And let's go from left to right. So the leftmost one is for having seven tasks, whether they are completed or not. If some of them are not completed, in other words, they're still task side up, it's worth four points. If you manage to light all seven bonfires by the end of the game, that's an extra seven points. This next one is for having seven portals. The next one is for having seven path tiles, including your starting one. The next one is for having six gnomes. And the next one is for having five guardians. Now, as soon as you complete one of those tasks, as a bonus action that you can do on your turn for free, you can say, I've done it and you move the novice into the high council and you gain the appropriate bonus. Now remember, when the game ends, 10 novices. So by completing one of these tasks, you are speeding up the end of the game. Mm -hmm. And there can never be two novices of the same color on one of these high council seats, okay? okay? Now, you completing a task does not preclude other players from also completing that task 
in the game. The points are only scored at the end of the game, but the benefit of the person who does it first is they get to place the novice and they will get an immediate bonus. Okay, so those common tasks are worth either four or seven points at the end of the game. Uh, the next thing is all of your remaining fate tiles are worth three points, as I mentioned earlier on. And then the last thing is every two resources and tiles that you have left at the end is worth a point. So mm -hmm. points left for little bits of stuff that you have left over. Right. Okay, let's crack on then. All right. Uh, whose turn is it? I think it was blue. Yeah, I, I, I have a vague rem like memory of that. Okay. Um, so the red one, I can't do anything with that still. Well, you can, but only but if you move your boat first. And you can move your boat oh, yeah. by spending two action tiles as one, move your boat, and then take another task. So you are able to do it. It's just whether you want to. Okay, but with these um, brown ones, I can take some like cards, right? You can take, or just you can one? take a you can take a gnome. Yes. So taking a gnome is either two tiles and one resource. Oh, yeah. Or one tile and two resources. Okay, so I'm just gonna look at the cards. Uh, oh, the new ones. Uh, I don't think mm -hmm. I know what this means. Okay, let me pull up the rule book. Uh, that one there is whenever you whenever you do a procession. All of yeah. your guardians can move an extra one space. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and this one here is whenever you are placing a novice, I believe. Yeah, when placing a novice in the high council, you also get a gold. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I guess they're all good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it all depends <laughs> what you're aiming to do. Yeah. Uh, I don't know yet, so I'm just going to take uh, one of them. Just give me a second. Just oh, zooming out. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's go for putting so some novice people into the... Yeah. Um, what did I you was, call it? I was going to say, um, don't forget about the resources on the cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did it. Oh, wrong. yeah. So it's two because tiles I... and the resource that's shown on the card, or one tile. I think you're fine either way. Oh, you're fine because you've you've got yeah. loads of resources. Gold and card tiles, but I just just in case yeah. you were saving something. Yes, uh, that is important. But I I have all of the things that I need. The thing that costs gold is that like more special than the others because it's oh, well, kind of more expensive. Yeah, it's a little bit more expensive, but it will get you gold and a, a and a wild action tile but only when you complete a common task. Oh, okay, yeah. And at the moment, all of you are miles away from doing that. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so I think maybe the first one is a little useful, so I'm going mm -hmm. to do that. Or, okay. or I can do this one. Okay, I'll do this one. This okay. seems good. Yeah. So two action tiles and a fruit, or one action tile and two fruit? Yeah, let's do two action tiles. Okay. I'll oh, spend your action one. tiles if you want me to. Oh. Oh yeah, thank you. Two action tiles and a fruit. Done. I'll, I'll, uh... Do you want to replenish it? There we go. What's that okay. one? A wild... Well, yeah. Wild... What's the... when, what? when you use a wild action tile, it counts as two action tiles. Oh, specifically one of those tiles, so you have to have... Them, but that's cool because it means what you means you could use to further this or go yeah, further you could move your boat twice or move the bonfire two spaces yeah that's quite nice um mm. i'm actually, i'm actually going to do the third action i'm going to oh right we we have now our third option yeah so i just oh. flip it yeah so th option three remember there are three different things you can do on your turn we've seen option one we've seen option two option three is completing a task and it's actually really simple as long as you've met the conditions of it you flip it over okay and you then take the novice, yeah, and you put it in the high council. Oh my god, I get I get to do a thing. You got a I thing in the high council. Okay, so uh, let's let's have a look at the spaces in the high council, right? Mm -hmm. This one here is, um, it's it's basically place a fate tile. Uh -huh. uh, let me just double check that. I think it is. Yeah, immediately place the next fate tile and gain action tiles as usual, or gain a point. But that is in, even if you've got more than one tile. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Man. The next okay. one is uh, move your boat 
to any way you want to, and oh. then uh, pay the action of the island as usual, okay. or gain a point. Mm -hmm. The next one is take a guardian of a colour that you don't have, or gain a point. The okay. next one is take a gnome, um, specifically a specialist, not one of the elders, or gain mm -hmm. a point. The next one is rotate the bonfire, the, the great bonfire, to any way you want, and then take the corresponding resources, or mm -hmm. gain a point. Next one is um, move one of your guardians, just one of them, as far as you want, forward or backwards to an empty path tile. I suppose you don't get all the resources you collect on the way, do you? You get the one where you end up. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, or get a point. The next one is take a path tile or get a point. And the last one is get two gold and a wild card. Oh. <sighs> You know what? I I was really tempted by this one because I, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna get to do that at some point anyway. Yes. I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah. Man. Now I a just... quick a quick tactical tip from the publisher: uh, never take the one point option unless it's like the very end of the game and that's the best you, thing for oh, you. Okay. Yeah. That yeah, that one point is really not something you want to be doing during the game. Oh man, this is tough because I, I was so tempted by that, but then I'm going to get to do that anyway. You are, but it will cost you your turn to do it, so... Yeah. Um, or maybe this. Actually, I was tempted by getting one of these cards, and I don't have a card mm -hmm. tile at the moment. Um, that one... Uh, what? What's this one? Every time you place a... Yeah, a no every time you put a novice into the High Council, you get a gold. Uh, that lets now, you move. Yeah, that wouldn't one. apply to this time because you've already placed in the High Council. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I assume it activates after you complete your. Yeah. Um, this one is it. Every time you move your guardians, you can move them one space more. Yes. Do you get both the resources? Uh, no, I think you only get the resources for where it lands. Okay, but maybe it's good to boost them along a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't take as many spaces. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe I'll take this one just because. I don't have guardians to move. I, I'm, okay. I get a path anyway because I've got a token for it. That would be really sweet. Mm. Uh, but I'm probably going to get some tokens anyway from placing them. So okay. I think I'm just going to take this. And yep. then, uh, Okay. So I'll take... Um, I'm tempted by that one. What's this one, this symbol? Uh, so this is every time you complete one of the common tasks, you will oh, gain yeah. a gold and a wild, uh, wild action tile. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this. Do I have to pay for it? It's just take it. Nope. Absolutely free. All right. So yeah. I'm just going to take this one. Let me just zoom out so I can move it over. The All guardians right, cool. are very happy that you have completed their, their task. Yes. Ah, oh, sweet. Okay. That, I'm done. All right. Let's get a new one. Okay. That is green done. Back to yellow. Hello. I'm Hello. going to get a path. Uh, it's getting another path. Thing. What, what, what is the path going to do? Is it going to give me a resource when I complete the task? Nope. When the Guardian ends its movement on there, you will get the resource. Ah, okay. Okay. But I'll also, you're going to get two points. As long as this bonfire is, is lit at the end of the game, you're yeah. going to get an extra two points because blue and blue. Ah, okay then. Even better. Mm-hmm. Um, so you spent a green action tile and you took a path yeah. and you're done. Right. Back to Sunover. Yeah, I'm going to move my guardian one space. Okay, so what you do is you spend the white action tile, and then you move one of your guardians of your choice. Does it Do matter? Doesn't really matter. One space nope. forward. Yes. Okay. And then I get a And you get a resource? gold. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you were to okay. do that, if you had another one and you did that again now, both of them would move one. Okay. Okay. Right. You're done. Oh, cool. Back to green. Uh, yeah, turns uh, go fairly quick. Once you've yeah, played the game or right. you get used to it, turns turns are fairly fairly quick. Um, you have to take the paths and place them from... Left from to right. Back, right, okay. So the yes. only reason to choose... Well, oh, oh, I almost drew a load of tiles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Will. You did warn us about it. Um, is the different resource on it. Um... And the colours, yeah. I, I don't want a uh, yellow one. I don't imagine I'm going to be completing to <laughs> yellow tile. <laughs> um, actually, I think what I'll do instead is I'll spend this red tile. 
Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to offer. Oh, yeah, I can got it now because I've I could, I've done the gold task. I'm going to offer for this one here. So that's so going to cost you two tiles. Uh, oh, because I already did one. Okay, you've oh, already uh, done one on the island. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of this boat. Okay. All right. Well, I won't do that then. So Oops. you could, or you might want to move first and then go somewhere else. I yeah. I mean, I'm not in a rush to do that. Um, like. <laughs> I didn't think that. Um, <laughs> I just need to get another tile, don't I? That would have been why it would be good to get. Okay, never mind. Um, oh, that's that's fine. I will. Um, I'll just take a path for now. Okay. Take so a path. you spend the green action tile and you take one of the paths. Take a red path take with another this one. Funny Let's guy. There we go. It. There we go. Oh, look at that. We've got three yellows. Right, Tom, back to you. Okay. So so can I can I just spend reds because I'm on the island I want a task from? Absolutely. But you've, because you've already made one offering there, this is going to cost you two yeah. red action so tiles. One will be my wild, and then I can yeah. use these ships as the second one. Okay. And which of these would you like? I'll take this one. Okay. And... So that's going to cost you a shell, and okay, then anyway. either a blossom or a root and the root okay and then you put that offering on the island yeah. they like you that island okay and that's so it. what's that task that you've just got is to have five four five tiles uh, oh sorry four tiles either lit or not lit oh they're blues it's four blue I've, ones I, in the in the in the rule book it says four blue so yes. i assume it's that one it's just it's a bit pale blue. on on tabletopia yeah yeah okay cool Right, back to blue. Uh, yeah, but uh, then can I do the kind of the same thing? Because, uh, or where is the edges of the water? Like, am I adjacent to all these four no, you, islands right you now? you were here. That's where oh, you were. Oh, I'm on the... You're on the island, yeah. I'm on the island. Oh, whoops. Oh, sorry. I That's tried right. to you just, flick it just over move then. my view yeah. and I kind of flipped it. So I think okay. your only choice this turn is option one. I don't think yes. you have another choice. Uh, I'm thinking of doing this and flipping it. Yep. Okay, so I... So Russ, you can be starting your turn. Yeah, I, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to move and okay. make an offering. So I'll use the boat to move to, to move. this island over here that's allowed isn't it where where did you start here yeah that's fine. Here. yeah yeah that's um, fine. and then i'm going to spend that red tile mm -hmm. uh wait i should probably just double check that i'm not going to do anything silly because uh i've got i've got You've a red got stuff. yellow task to complete that one i can complete but i'm just seeing if there's any of the red or yellow task i'm likely to be complete hmm that one is I could go here and do that one. I'm going to go for the easy one. I think the rule book said just to try and do um, tasks you can complete the easier ones. At the yeah, and one of the other things that the rule book does point out as a hint is try not to take too many tasks that you think, yeah. oh, I'll, I'll have time to do this because the end of yeah. the game, whilst it's nowhere near now, the end of the mm -hmm. game can sneak up on you. So you don't yeah. want to take too many tasks. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so I'm going to just take that uh, i've spent my blue and my red and i think i'm done not quite you've got to make the offering oh yeah that's right they want something oh, I'll remember <laughs> that. all right so i can get rid of this uh I, I don't know what that is it looks like a ginger but with a face it's a it's a mandrake root uh yeah that that's i've heard of them okay so yeah. there we go that is a mandrake yeah. Uh, and so I spent the mandrake, and then the other thing I need to do is to spend either a green or a well. Let's just spend the green. Yeah, some herbs. Let's just put down the all gold route. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then that goes there, and then then I'm done, right? Then you are done. Yes. Sweet. All right. Excellent. There we go. Okay. Okay. I think I can complete. I can complete this task. Right. Because that two is on the same island. Yeah. Two that, offerings that on the okay. same island. That's why you did it. So I can. I flip it and yep. I can I think this person Oops. 
And choose a bonus. And choose a bonus. Stick them in the High Council. So that's already two things that we've got in the High Council. I think... Which symbol is it that I need? I think I'm going to turn the bonfire. OK. So it goes on this one here. In one of those seats. And you can turn the bonfire to wherever you want to. I'm going to turn it there because I want this. And I'll, mm -hmm. take, the, I'll take the green resource as well. OK. There's some herbs. And I think that's it. I think that is it. Right. OK. Back to Sunnivar. Uh Yes. So I'm going to drive my boat. And I can like automatically use one symbol to move two spaces, right? Because yes. I have my yeah. person, gnome, dude. Mm -hmm. uh, so do I... Um, I don't move like through the water. I jump from island to island. Correct. Or... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So one will get you to either there, there, or there. Yeah. But because oh, so for you, you like follow the streams. You follow the uh, follow the paths. Yeah. Okay. So I think I'm going to move over to where Russell is over here because that is two moves, right? Two moves, yeah, which you're allowed to do for one tile because of your specialist. Yes, and I'm going to two take that. Okay, so you spend one blue action tile to move. Yes. And then you spend one of your task action tiles, the red one, to take the task. And I'm done. You've oh, got to make I an offering. <laughs> the same Every, thing I did. <laughs> everybody's yeah. forgetting about the offerings. Uh, so, yeah. Does it matter what I take because I don't have any of the resources, so I'm going to pay a gold anyways? Uh, or... Yeah, you don't, do you? So remember, here's the options. You can use gold. Gold is anything. Or yes. you could use two for one if yeah. you needed okay. to keep your gold. But I don't think you need to keep your gold. Um, no, I don't no. need to keep my gold. So yeah, you could spend so... a couple of gold and you're done. Yeah, so I'm just going to spend the gold and take one of them it doesn't matter right at this point no yep so and your mandrake as well for the island yeah oh so yeah of course the island needs the mandrake thank you sorry how I do you <laughs> how do you get resources <laughs> moving you your garden yeah moving your oh, garden yeah. will get you resources or from the great bonfire mm. yeah okay yeah Okay, um, so you, you need to put one of your offering tiles onto the board. Oh, not there. There. There it is. Okay, yes. and you're done. Yep. All right. I'm awesome. just going to do action three again, because I believe that I have made an offering to an island with a shell on it. Uh, you have oh. indeed. Yeah, so there we go. So I that, right? Yeah. Russ is all about lighting the bonfires. I know. It's, there you go. So this novice... Now, you can't now, have two novices of the same colour in the same right. area of the High Council, so it has to go in another I bonus. wonder then if I should... Because um, I can either go to moving a boat, because I'm mm -hmm. not going to get myself a tile, but I could also take this, which is essentially the which same thing. Which is loads of stuff, yeah. Because um, basically, next turn, I'm planning to go... Well, I shouldn't really say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so doing that on my streams, that telling my actions. But um, yeah, I mean... I think I'm going to go and use this. Oh, but that's to move to any island, right? Yes, yeah. Teleport your boat to anywhere you want to. Hmm. I don't know if that's as useful to me. So I think what I'll do... Um... Oh, actually, I've just realised this one lets you move it to anywhere, right? Oh, hang on. I zoomed in on a PDF, which means it zoomed in on Tabletopia. Um anywhere on the bonfire this this bonfire yeah is this this high council seat is move move the bonfire to any way you want so what i could do is do that yep i'll keep it there sure and i'll get the the ship and this which i believe is the next one i need okay yeah so i'll do that i'll right. take the i'll take this and then i'll get a ship token yep. as well okay sweet There we go. I'm done. Okay, I think I've I've got to do a fake tile. Yeah, uh, I'm going to do it like that, so I get guardian and then 
two purples and two, two purple greens. and two greens. Yeah. Okay. Right. Son of a. Yes. Uh, I think I have to bolt some more actually, but I'm I'm emptying myself of resources mm -hmm. this way. Uh, oh, wow. uh, yeah. Let's do it. I just noticed Tom's amazing tri uh, triple up of symbols. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, First, that is actually really cool. Well, he's not quite got three yet. Is he? Yeah. No. Yeah, but he matched uh, three, all three on his, um, yeah. Oh, oh I right. mean, this was the same thing, two, three of the uh, same things, not three in a row. Right. That's what he... So you got two of each of those things, which is yeah. awesome. Just a quick note, while we're looking at Tom's board, just something I do want to clarify. I'm just going to cheat for a minute and take this tile. If, if Tom was to put this here, that would get three blue. Yeah. Okay, they don't, they don't have to be in a line. They just need to be connected. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's cool. Sorry to interrupt your turn. I was just... No, no problem. Uh, so I think I'm going to... Oh, just looking at my board. One quick second. Yes, so I... I actually think I want to just go over to this island. Mm -hmm. Trying to... So you spend another uh, blue action time. What, uh, what does this do, Paul? Which one? This, this, uh, this, this one here? Yeah. This is have an offering on an island that required a mandrake root which you've got oh you do yeah yeah you do okay, so i'm going over there then. Then. okay <laughs> yep okay oh how do i put my phone <laughs> right side up i don't physics. know uh, physics right so a blue action tile to move and then a red yes. action tile to take the uh to take the task yes and what uh, do i pay for the island it is a, a shell, shell and then either a blossom or a fruit. Yeah, it's gonna be gold. It's gonna be gold, okay. <laughs> yes. And which of your offering tiles do you wanna put on there? The same, I guess. That's the one uh, you're taking. Oh, thank you. There you go. And <laughs> uh, where are you Perfect. gonna put it? Uh, so it doesn't match the yellow, so then I want it here, kinda. Okay. Yes. Cool. Right. Uh, I think you're done. Yep. You you paid the shell and the shell and the gold. Yeah. Ah, That's okay. right. Um, I am going to take uh, this tile because I've got one left. Yeah. Oh, look at I'm this. gonna pop it here. Look at that. So I basically get two reds. Do this. Two reds. White. Uh, a white, and then. Three, Three purple, but purples. I only got one right now. I'll so I'll find the other. There you oh, go. Thank you. Got him. Thank right, you, sir. Tom, you'll go. Okay. Can I go to the bonfire and just choose the the tile and the resource and not the symbol? Yeah, you can choose two of the three things. I think I'll do that then. Okay. I will go to the bonfire and move it once. I'll yep. have a gold and a green. Right. There you go. Done. <laughs> All right, back to blue. Okay, so I I have a path tile, but I'm mm -hmm. not entirely happy that there's no blue path okay. there right now. <laughs> uh, so either I can just save up for something, or um, I can take another task on the island amount, and mm -hmm. that is expensive. Right, so there is something so... that I haven't mentioned. Yes. There's, there's two reasons why I haven't mentioned it. The first one is I didn't think it was relevant. And the second one <laughs> is I actually forgot the rule, okay? Now, okay. The, fair <laughs> enough. I'm being honest, the rule is you can either take one of these four or you can take the top one off the deck. Oh. oh. Okay, okay, then I'll try the top one off the deck. Thank you. Wait, but if it's not the right color, then you're just missing out on some points, is it? Um, but I can... You, you then choose where you want... Oh, yeah, no, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. It goes in the next space. Oh, okay. So that is well, kind of a bummer. It, it, well, it's a bit of a gamble. It's still your but best option. It is your best option. The other, and you're only going to get one of these other two colors anyway. Yeah, so I, I agree. Say, yeah, I say go for it. Yeah, go yeah, for it. Yeah, let's do it. 
Okay. How to not pick like all of the drum roll. Yeah, drum roll. <laughs> oh, oh no. it's red. Never mind. It was worth a shot. Yeah. It was worth a shot. Um, it is the annoying thing about the um that because you you'd think that, that you know. I mean, I've seen many blues. I mean, Tom has taken them all, basically. Tom's, Tom's <laughs> nabbed all the blues. Um, yeah. So typical. <laughs> um, is that the end of your turn, by the way? Uh, yes, if I haven't forgot to pay something, I think I'm done. Nope, that's it. It's just one green action tile to do that. So, ah, yeah. perfect. There we go. And he's been replenished uh, by another yellow one. Yeah. I'm going to go back sailing. I'm going to spend this ship, and I'm going to go sailing back to... Uh, this island it was mm -hmm. on before, and I'm going to make an offering of two of these uh, red tiles. Right, because it's your second offering That's at the right. island. I'm going to pop this here. Yeah, that and then you uh, costs me oh, I you, two gold. Two, <laughs> two gold, yeah. Um, but I'm just going to think ahead um, in terms of what I can. I think uh, I think according to the rule book, thinking ahead is not allowed. Yeah, oh, sorry, Ross. <laughs> I haven't yeah. been doing it so far. Okay, so, that's fine. That's okay. fine. Um, but yeah, I, I, I have to choose one of these not knowing what's under. It doesn't matter. I've got gold. But yeah, I'm just going to take this one, I guess, because I yeah. can't see reason I get that. So there we go. Um, let me just move this up and pop this on there. And I'm done. Okay, right. Oh, yeah. Paid for it this time. I, I actually followed the rules. I actually paid for it. <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay. I think I'm going to sail. So yep. I'm going to use two greens using two greens as if it was a blue and i'm going to sail over to the guardian island yep and it's a guardian tile right? it's a go it's one guardian tile to take a guardian yep take that guardian there you go nice and you're done yep right back to blue oh yeah so i need to place a new tile so i'm very short on resources so what kind of tile gives me resources is, none of is them it just the purple <laughs> well yeah pur purple will get you great bonfire tile uh a great oh. uh, a purple tile that allow you to rotate the great bonfire that will get you a resource um but it's the white ones which move the guardians that's going to get you the most resources yeah and if my i move both my like with one guardian tile now then yeah. i get to move both would, of my guardians yeah, one you'd space get, you get a herb and a gold and then if you move them both again, you'd get a blossom and a herb. Ah, right. Okay, so... so... Yeah, if you were to take this one and put it here, that would get you two white tiles. Yeah, I, I just... Uh, I need to decide if I want to put it here and get a lot of blue, but... Oh, um, yeah. But then it, it's really expensive, like, yeah. all of a sudden. So I think I need to place it over here. Just try to turn it around. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, so you're placing tiles. Don't forget to get the gold because you've covered up a gold icon. Oh, yeah. There you go. And we'll move on to green. Oh, man. That came around too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> that um, is my exact thought. <laughs> are, you gonna do a, are you gonna do another task, Russ? Uh, <laughs> I was thinking about it, but then I'm like, um i could do something else i just yeah. need to check i i think i probably should just because there is a no i've got it now i'm i'm locked i'm locked in i can just use any turn to do that yeah but obviously the only risk is then um no i think it, it there doesn't isn't. Uh, no there isn't no. i can do yeah so i think what i might do instead is just looking ahead at what my next um i don't really want to spend two of those purple things to get that but maybe i can get a resource on one of these card things instead mm -hmm. uh, yeah uh, but I'm, then maybe maybe um so this this action um in the this high council seat it lets you take a guardian from anywhere does it yes take a guardian that you don't already have all right um and then that one is moving them to anywhere forwards or backwards that one is to take a tie this one does it let you take any path you want or just one that's visible um so that one i'm just going to read this because there is something a bit quirky with that one let me just yeah. check uh, 
Here it is. It is take a path tile from the display or choose one from one of the draw piles. So choose one. Actually Sorry. look through the, the pile here and take whichever one you want. Because in the physical board game, these are not all in one big pile. They're split into two piles just because they're quite tall. So yeah, okay. that one there so, is take any one that you want. I think then for my action, I think I'm going to just complete that task then. Okay. Just to get that um, yeah. that thing. So I can just flip that and yep. uh, I'm going to rotate it just so the points are... <laughs> <laughs> visible i'm going to go and complete that one and get my hands on a blue yeah a blue so we, path. we just keep looking through here oh, until we... actually do i want a blue path i just realized actually shoot i've just realized i don't uh -huh. want to do that yet because it depends what i put here sorry i'm taking okay. are we allowing me to take that back if I, yeah if, it's fine is that right sorry i'm so sorry i um i hate to do that it's just I realized there was a reason. If I could place the blue anywhere, that'd be good. But that'd be good one to save for later on. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think he was here, wasn't he? Yep. Yeah. Next to the okay. Task. So yeah. I'll flip that back over. Um, yep. So you're everybody. not doing the task. <laughs> and uh, and then I'll just do the. Hmm. I might have to. What's this one? Move a guardian. Uh, which one's that? Sorry. This one. That's this this white token Where here. That's looking. Guardian, Where are isn't looking? it? Yes. It's either take a guardian from an island if your boat was there, or start a procession. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's let's start a procession. I, okay. I've got one there, and uh, I could move him too, right? Um, because of your special ability, yes. But you only get the resources on the space that you land on. Oh, uh, in that case, then let's just get gold. It seems mm -hmm. better. <laughs> All right, there we so go. So the only reason for moving it too is that if you want to end up moving it round here, yeah. Remember, you're going to get more points yeah. the further right it is, as long as it is yeah. protecting a bonfire at the end of the game. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's fine. Okay. All right. Sorry about that, Tom. Took a long time. It's all right. Off you go, Tom. And I am going to come. I'm going to light a bonfire. Yep. So I've got a pink guardian there. You do. So you flip that over. And you can put and that then, novice somewhere in the high council. I just, I don't know. Uh, so, can, can I, do I have to choose a different one? Uh, yes, you can't have two of That's the same, uh, two novices okay. of the same colour on the same space. So, okay. then, did you shuffle this draw pile? I did. Oh, okay, good. Just checking. Yeah. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take a card. Okay, so you take one of the specialists. So I do, I... do I need to pay for it? Nope, nope, it's free. Okay, I'm going I'm to take the one that lets me put things outside the grid. Yep. Just likes breaking the rules. That's me. <laughs> and I think that's it. Okay, right. Okay, so, it's me? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I heard some rumors going in the chat that I can actually light the bonfire that you, I just you took. Can. You can, if you want to. Uh, it will cost you your turn to do, but you can do it. Uh, but what does good does it do me when these doesn't right. match? I, I really don't remember the consequences. <laughs> so, well, the good thing, here. so this, if you light it, will be worth two points at the end of the game. Okay. Okay, so but also when you light it, you get to put this novice, and you get to put the novice in the high council, and you get the bonus printed on the space in the high council. Okay, so that is quite nice. I'm just going to take a quick look. Uh, oh, the the this one I can move my guardians, right? Uh, where are you looking? Uh, uh, that that one there is move one of your guardians, just one of them, as many steps forward or backwards as you like. Okay, so that is not that relevant. Oh, is this like move the boat wherever you want? This is move the boat to wherever you want to, yeah. Oh, that and, is And nice. then take an action as if you'd normally move the boat. Uh, okay, is that for free? Do I need to use a task token or a guardian token to yeah, do that? Yeah, so the movement is free, but you would then need to use the the normal things to take the, uh, the task. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to light my bonfire so we can do that because yeah. I want to go and take one of these great guardian okay. dudes. So we flip it over and then you take this yes. novice and you're going to put it here. Uh, oh no, 
I'm going to put it over this, here. Well, this is just take a guardian of your choice oh, for can... free. Oh, yeah, that is much easier yeah. than going all <laughs> so the way you over there with a guardian, the Yeah, yeah. Great. I'm going to do go. that. So you get a great Thank guardian. You. And that goes on the starting space. Yeah, what would I do without you, Paul? You're a lifesaver. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, do you, you, you did read the small print in the email that I sent you. Any piece of tactical advice is five euros. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got, I, got to make I, me I, money I, somehow. I don't know. Maybe I'll take another <laughs> loan. I don't know. <laughs> this, yes. Are there loans in this game? Is nope. that, is it's that not a Martin thing? Wallace Can I go game. bankrupt? Yeah, afraid not. Am I done? I think so. All right. I don't need to pay anything. That is always my question. Nope. I, no, I lighting a bonfire doesn't cost you anything. Okay, perfect. S speaking of bonfires, I think Russ is going to be doing some uh, bonfire movement. I don't, don't we, know. Oh, you're going to be doing a two for one something else. Oh, yes. No, a bonfire movement. I thought you meant lighting a bonfire. Oh, like, no, 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 no. Yeah, the um, great I'm, bonfire. I'm just debating whether to um, to take... I think that I have to risk it, and um, I'm going to take. Don't really what. <laughs> I'm just having like a crisis. Like, oh, what? <laughs> um, it's always that moment in a game where you think, ah. Oh. Yeah, I just, I just really want to start filling up all of my portals, um, but it does mm. mean spending two of the things. So it, it's like I don't really it's want any of these it. other things. Okay. So it's just whether I go for one and uh, right. just get two of these things instead, even if I can't take one of these. So I think yeah. I might have to do that. Okay. Um, uh, let me just check something. Um, yeah, okay. I'll take, I'll just spend one. Okay, so you spend one. one. And then I'll move it. And uh, rotate it one space. And I'll take the card and the fruit. Yeah, so you get a fruit and a... Well, it's not a card, it's a brown action tile. Yes, that a card action tile, sorry. Card action tile, yeah. There we go. And that's me done. Okay, believe. Tom. Okay, I think... I think I'm going to go path. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to grab this red path. Okay. And, and get that's a me. new tile. And we have four yellows. So, Tom, you may, if you want to, and you don't have to, say that those four yellows all get put to the bottom of the stack. I'm, I'm fine with them. Okay. <laughs> I bet you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought you might. <laughs> I'm so glad I've saved that bonfire. Um, so that task. To... <laughs> right. Okay, so son of a, what's what's can happening? Another bonfire, right? Yes, I can. You can. And uh, I've got these two guardians, yeah, right? You have those two guardians, so you can ignite that yeah. bonfire. Uh, what bonus would I like? I cannot do the same again. Correct. Because there's, but are there room for more? Where yes, it... there can be one of each color, including white. Okay. So I probably want to... Ah, right. Hang on a minute. Ralph has just put something in the chat. It is the next player who, oh. is, a, who is taking the path action that can do it. Right. Thank you very much, Ralph. It did seem odd. Okay. So yeah, so it's, it's, it's before you take the action. If they are all the same, you may choose to recycle them. That does oh, make more yeah, sense. Oh yeah, that makes much more sense. Yes. Thank you for that. So I think that I uh, would want to uh, just zoom in. Uh, so I th I'm just like thinking about rotating the big bonfire in the middle. Is, yep. is that the right word? Yeah, the great bonfire. Yeah. Yep. Yes, but I'm just not. There's a lot of stuff to uh, keep track of. There is. So the <laughs> symbols on the portals, I just yeah. have to see what I need. Because if I light 
the bonfire right now, then I have okay. like a... Oh yeah, thank yeah. you. You've got to thank take the portals you. in reverse order on your player board. Oh, I need a lot of portals. How many do you guys have? You, now at this stage in the game, and this is not me telling you what to do, but you might just want to say, I tell you what, forget portals. I, I'm, I'm yeah, not going to bother I'm with that at all. Yeah, I'm thinking kind of the same thing, yeah. but I'm, because I'm really late to the portal party over here. <laughs> the portal <laughs> party. Okay, so... Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just trying to keep track of this. That's all right. It's okay. No rush. Yeah, but kind of rotating one of those things aren't bad anyways. But I need... Can I then rotate it any... anywhere? Rotate rotate it it to anywhere. Okay, yeah. Anywhere. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I think I will do that. Okay. No. Yeah, yeah, so let's you, do it. We flip the task over, so you've lit the bonfire, and you take the novice, yep. and you're going on this one? Yes. Okay. And I want to... Oh, there's a nice one over here, though, but I, I think, actually, I want to go over here. Okay. So we just rotate I want that round. The, the flower... Yes, I think I'm happy there. Okay, so you take two of the three things on offer. Yeah, I'm just going to forget the portals. I'm just okay. going to take the two resources. So you get a blue blossom and a white action tile. Perfect. Okay. Then I'm done. You are done. Oh. So, Russ, before the start yeah. of your turn... Yeah. There's just the elders to mention. Yes. Okay, so buying an Elder is exactly the same rules as it is to buy one of the specialists. It costs mm -hmm. you two tiles and one resource, or one tile and two resources. But what they do, once you take an, an Elder, you immediately get the points that's printed on it. So this one here, yeah. this is one point for every Guardian you currently have. This is one point for every Path tile that you have. Mm -hmm. This is one point for every Gnome that you have. This yeah. is one point for every Task or Bonfire that you have. Mm -hmm. This is one point for every portal, and this is one point for every um, fate tile that you've got. So just be aware of them that they are instant points if you decide to buy them. There are only these six in the game. Once they've been taken by one player, that's it. They do not refresh. There's no, there's no extra ones. Can I just check the resources? Is it the cost on the card? Uh, how do so you mean? would I spend two gold to get this one? It would one. be one tile and two gold, or two oh. tiles and one gold. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. That's what I meant. So the, yeah. the resource on them is the resource that you have to pay if yes. you choose. Okay, yeah, fine. Correct. Um, I am actually a little bit uh, thankful that she rotated it. Sorry, son of a rotated it to that point because okay. <laughs> uh, I claim my next portal. So yeah, I'm going to move it up to here. Right. I'm going to take this one. And I'll yeah. take um, another um, one of those tiles, I think. Okay. Now, just know here, there is a two yeah. points on offer instead of the resource. Yeah. I just don't know how valuable points are. So I I think also for the portal game, um, portal party, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to collect enough so that I have a little bit more flexibility with getting them. So I'm just going to take the, the yeah. same time back. So essentially, what I just did has got a, a, a portal for free. Okay. I think the winning score in the game last night was 70, just to give okay. you an idea. Okay, so it's about 130, well, 135th of a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ...winning score. All right, cool. I think I'm done. I think okay. I, rotated, I took the two things, and then, then it's it. Okay, I think I'm going to grab a pass. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to fake there. Oh, yes. Because you're allowed to... There, so that's three greens. Three greens, a white and a brown, and a a wild action tile. Yep. And nice. That's me. Okay. Back to blue. Yes. Um, I want to move my um, my guardians. I think. Okay. Do you want to spend one or two? What can I do with two? With two, they would all move two. So this one would end up here. This one would end up here. 
and then this one would end up here and you would then get all of the resources for the spaces that they landed on. So the ones Those. that I skip that yeah. I will get. Correct. Or if you just move them one, it would move that one to there, that one to there. You'd get a herb and a gold and then you could spend another one next time and then you get that. But it's, you know, the number of actions you have in this game is limited based on the number of turns. Yes, so absolutely. It's, yeah, it's up to you whether you wanted to spend one or two. Okay, I think I think I'm going to go ahead and spend two. Okay. Now remember, if you had any portals, instead of moving it along the path, you could move it instead into a bonfire. Yes, so now I'm basically just moving them for the resources. Yeah. I don't get any points for them. Correct. So this one moves yes. two. Yep. Uh, this one moves two. This one would move two, but you can't have two on the same tile. So you get one blossom, one herb, and one gold. Perfect. There you go. Right. It's me again. Yeah. Um. Oh, what's this one is... When you move a guardian, get two times the re rewards. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's specifically the white guardian. Let me just check. Oh yeah, because um, it's or... the color. Yeah. yeah, I think that is whether when whenever the depicted guardian ends her movement on a path, gain the corresponding resource a second time. So mm -hmm. it's specifically. Is that the grey one? Oh, not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if the gentleman in the chat or lady in the chat, I can't remember who, who it was. Ralph um, was in the chat. Ralph, Ralph might be able to tell us. Is that the grey one? I think it is. Yeah, that it seems the like the grey one. one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, grey. Right. Yeah, it's the grey so, one. All right. Well, that's fine. I'm going to, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend um, two of my. Uh, yeah, Ralph's yeah. confirmed it's the grey one. Thank you. I'm going to spend these two. Yep. And I'm going to move this along two spaces. Move two spaces clockwise, yep. Take that one. And I'll take the path uh, token. The green action tile, yep. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I'll take the path token tile. Where is that? There it is. Tom of many action tiles. Hello. So could I, in theory, with three guardian tiles, mm -hmm. move the first one, one, two, and then in. Yes. Uh, if and there was a portal there, yes. Oh, I have to have a portal there first. There has to be a portal there. Oh, well. There's no point thinking about that, then. Let... <laughs> you, did, you did say in theory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very unlucky with the portals. With the symbols that I need. Um, I, I think blame the player to, the, to your right for that. Well, <laughs> hey, there's, there's plenty to go around. There's plenty of to go around. That's true. That's true. There's slander, Paul. That's slander. <laughs> Just saying. I think. What have I got? I could get another path. You could absolutely get a fourth path tile. Get a path. There is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna re oh, did you want to switch them out before you did that? No, I'm happy with that. Yeah, okay, okay. And we get a blue one. Right, don't forget, once you get two more path tiles, that is one of the common tasks complete. Right. Oh, yeah, that is a thing. Mm hmm. <laughs> that exists. And there are currently six novices in the High Council, so four more is going to trigger the start of the end of the game. Oof. Yeah, it can really I say, go fast if you play in yeah, a certain way. Yeah, I say specifically it starts the end of the game because remember it's a five round countdown. I'll explain it a little yeah. bit more when it happens, sure. but yeah, there's a five round countdown at the end. It's, is it Son of His turn? I think it is, yes. Uh, I'm going to move my boat. So I'm going to move uh, one space up here and, oh, I laid my boat on the side, it kind of crashed. Your boat doesn't <laughs> like standing up, does it? It's um, I what think does... you can flip it, yeah. 
And I'm going to take this task. Mm -hmm. Because I've already completed it. Okay, so it cost you a blue action tile to move there. Yes. And a red one to take the task. And I need to pay two flowers, kind of. Yeah, uh -huh. and I have that. Uh, it's one flower. And then either a root or a fruit. You don't have either. Oh, it's root now. Gold. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be gold then. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just going to pay and then I'm done. So okay. you, you can just continue. Spend your tiles? No, we... I'm just going okay. to do that and I'm You'll done. Do that. Okay. I'm going to take that blue path. There it is. Uh, did I actually, did I want to do that? Hang on. Did I, have you filled it? I have. Oh, you have. Uh, it's fine. I'll do it. You needed a blue one. I do need a blue one. Yeah. Um, it's fine. I just realized I was so excited that there was a blue one available. I just <laughs> Quick, it. grab it. Um, even if I don't actually need it, which is hilarious. Yeah. Uh, where am I right now, actually? And where are the <laughs> So, um, is there any that I have completed? Any of, any... These, uh, any of these blue tasks that I have completed left? Uh, I don't know. Well, that one is... It's for having a path tile with a blossom on it, which you don't have. Uh, I don't think I want to take that then. Because okay. I, haven't, I haven't done it. I'm so sorry. That's all right. I'm so sorry. It's just that I, it's literally no point because... Uh, oh, what happened there? You took my... Um, you took my... <laughs> you took my... Uh, my gnome. Oh, I'm I, sorry. Stole, I stole I your novice. Again. I've done it again. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking, is that... Maybe I'll take... Maybe I'll take a yellow one because maybe there's a yellow one that I can complete instead. Oh, um, okay. I don't really know. There's that one over there. Which is having two offerings on each of three islands. Three islands, yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. At this stage in the game? Yeah, I mean, I've got, but I've got, like, I'm like halfway there, but I'd have yeah. to. What was that one? Oh, completely empty one of your offering piles. Hmm. Well, I know I can complete a red one. I might just, I might just wait then. What, what was the other thing? I can, um, I can, uh, I'll, I'll can do the card action. Yeah, you can take a gnome. Yeah, and I've do you, got. Do you want one of the elders, or is it too um, early? I don't. I think it's still a little early. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Um, I think I might. If I move a gnome, does that move any gnome or my gnome? Which one? That this one. Can't, yeah. uh, this is whenever you put a. Uh, that's the symbol for a novice. So it's whenever novice. you put a novice, including um, these ones. Let me just the check. Common one. ones. Yeah, gain one, gain one gold when placing a novice into the high council. In addition to the bonus, yeah, any novice. Oh, but then there is another card there. That's is that a card, having a gnome with a, a, a what do you call it, a, a root on it, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, let's take, let's take this one then. Okay. This one, I think I'm going to get my hands on another one of them tiles soon. Right. So, so I need spend to spend two gold. Two roots. Yeah. So two gold for you. Two gold. Yeah. Oh, I've just yep. put that in my hand. Okay. Um, yeah. Cool. Carry All done. On. Tom. I'm going to do the bonfire and have the action tile and the fruit. Okay. Uh, hold on. So and move the it. great bonfire, action tile, and fruit, and you're done. And yep. Sonova? Yeah, we have to refill the gnomes or the oh, we do, specialists. Yes. Yeah, there you go. We've got a new one. I'm just a little curious about that. What does it mean? So that is... Um, where is it? Here we go. Uh, when a guardian ends her movement on a path tile, you choose which resource you gain. So oh, instead nice. of getting the one that's depicted on the path tile, you actually take anything you want. Hmm, okay. So maybe I'll do that or... Okay, actually I want to spend two of these, um, what do you call it, gnome card 
Yep. Tokens to do another action, and I want the blue path that you didn't take, Russell. Okay. <laughs> so really blue path. So you're, you're using <laughs> two tiles as if it was green. Yes. And you take another one. There we go. Okay. And okay. I'm done. Yeah. So your next path tile is going to cost you two green tiles. Oh, yeah. So the first one, second one, and third one cost one. The fourth, fifth, and sixth cost two. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, I'll... um. Um, I will take uh, that blue path now, I think. Okay. Um, oh, no. I just picked up that thing. Is that where it's meant to be? I think I just picked it up. I don't think I, I moved it. I think that's it. where it was, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. There we go. Done. Okay. Done. Goes on there. Right to Tom. I'm going to take the path. Okay. Using that and that one. Blue one. Nice. Okay, one more, and Tom has done the common task of having seven path tiles. Hi. Done. And it means this would be very valuable. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's me. It is you, yep. Okay, so if I want to take a new, like, what is it called? The one that I, the option one. Yeah. Fate tile, taking a fate tile, yeah. but you can't, you're not allowed to. If I throw away one, am I still um, not allowed? Oh, that's. Can. I think you can. I, I think, think I read can. that. In the rules. Yeah, you can. If you really wanted to, you can throw one away. Throw yes. throw away some of your action tiles in order to be able to take a fate tile. So oh my yeah. God. Did you ignore Paul's tip at the beginning? He said like you don't want to run out of the tiles. <laughs> You're just throwing them away. <laughs> All the tiles. No, I'm I'm getting a few resources actually by moving the guardians. So I'm going to do that. Just yeah, using no, one no. to move all three of them one space each. Nice. So two of the green leafy things and one flower. Yeah. So English is not my main language. That is clear to everyone. I, I totally understood you. Don't you worry. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> So I'm, I'm just, just trying to find that rule so. where you can throw away your tiles. Yeah, you may discard excess tiles at any time during your turn. There you go. So yes. yeah, you can do it. Hmm. I'm done. Okay. What did you do? You did a procession. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I thought that. Yeah, that was good. I am going to place this, I think. Okay. So you're doing a fake tile. Hmm. It's not my best uh, option, I don't think, but I... Actually, I'd get a boat. Uh, where, which way up was that? I think that was this way. I think it was this way. Uh, I can go back on the YouTube stream. I just rewind. I don't know. Maybe it was up here. No, I think it was up here. I think it was at the top. I think it was at the top. Um, I mean, double check that, but I don't think I had access to this one here. I don't think so. I think it was the one at the top. So I'm just wondering. I'm going to get a blue tile for either either and either way. It was on the top. Oh, good. Okay, I was right. All right. Uh, <laughs> um, let's get a red. She's not going to benefit me. Oh, actually, could I get some cards? Maybe if I played it this way. Oh no, but I want that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I just want to get a tile, like the special tile. Um, so uh, I'm just trying to figure out, I need to get, like, I can't go, I can't get that one. I can't get this one. I can either get this one. I can only get this one pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I think maybe I will Back just have to the original to one. It. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do that. Two blue, a brown, a white, and a special. Right. Tom. Yeah. Hello. Uh, I'm going to grab a card, I think. Okay. So... It's two tiles and the resource. Two tiles and the resource, the or pay. two resources and one tile. Oh, where did they go? Oh, they're there. Resource um, and that. I just the... want to clarify, I get two wilds because of my card. Because of your special ability, yep. Yeah, yep, that's right. That's and I'll have... Uh... What the heck's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the specialist. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the elder. Oh, the elder, yes. Yeah. So you get 
Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six points. Uh, what, what color am I? I'm yellow. You oh, are yellow. That's the first points of the game. It is the first points of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I did say there'd be a lot of end game scoring, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Right. Yeah, that's for me. So you couldn't wait, Tom, to get the extra one. You thought somebody else might I've, sneak I've, in and take I've, it off I've, you. And if I spent them on something else and then had to rebuild exactly. the tiles. Up. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Right. Uh, blue okay. again. Okay. Yes. I'm going to place a paw. I've already forgotten the name. Fate, fate tile. <laughs> fate. Yes. Fate. I'm going to place this one, I think. Here. Okay. So that's three and blue, two green, and a purple. Yes, so just yeah. do your thing, people. Yeah. Me, yeah. Ross is next. Yep. All right, uh, I think my plan was to take a wild tile and use it as a um, this thing. Purple. And then take that portal and then a red tile. And yeah. then I am done. Oh, he's nearly finished the portals. Wow. Okay, Tom. I need to. Oh, I need to do a tile. Mm -hmm. I think. Oh, see so if you're doing that, son of a can take. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Right? I'm yeah. gonna do it like so Tom's this uh, thing. Heard oh, my, my name. Sorry. Uh, you were saying my name. Yeah, it's I... your go. It's your next turn. Hmm. You. It's your go. Again. Okay, uh, can one of you explain? Because I just hear like a jumble of words when it's, you're. It's your go it next. Once. It's your go next. Okay. Okay, so I can just continue playing. Yeah. Yeah, both Russ and Tom, both they just took fake tiles. So it was your oh, go Oh, yeah, quick. okay. Thank you. I couldn't hear a word you said. <laughs> okay, so do I. What, what do I want to do? Which tile did you just place by the way just so curious uh this one okay cool you should have three oh yeah i got the wrong color thank you no worries i mean i hope that doesn't mess up your plans otherwise no, I already... uh no it's uh it's quite all right i should move my bow somewhere but i actually don't know where i want to move it because i try to like look at some valid um uh tasks mm -hmm. but oh well, i actually can take the, the other option is guardians wings. guard guardians are good guardians will get you um points if you were to take this one um and obviously the more guardians you've got when you do the procession your guardians are going to get you more resources each time yeah that is true uh so there's just one move up to this guardian mm -hmm. so i can you, do that yeah you will need a white tile to take it but you could just use any two other tiles as if it was white oh yeah because i don't have any white tiles right now yes that is true i don't have a red tiles either so it's kind of the same yeah uh so let's do that i'm just going to go up here and use one blue tile and two other tiles to take yeah. that one. Cool. Yeah. Um, I can't find anywhere in the rule book that will allow me to have a look and see which of the colored paths is um, has the blue flower on it. Uh, the blue flower is on all of them. It, it, there's each color. So the, the, the symbols are not related, I believe, to okay. the colors. Okay. As far as I know. Um, and do you know how many are, there I, are? On I each? don't know. No, I'm afraid not. Okay, cool. I'm hoping there's at least one more. Okay. <laughs> mm, we'll see. Uh, all right. So I'm going to move my boat. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to move it over to this space here. And then I'm going to take this. I'm going to... Oh, can I do that? Yeah. I, I'm going to make an offering yeah. as well. So I've spent the blue to that. Then I'm going to spend one red tile to make the offering. Yeah. And then I'm going to spend both of these resources. So a fruit and a gold. Uh, yeah. To. Oh, wait. Uh... 
Oh, because yep. the yes, that's fine. And then which of these has less in this one? Because the red, the fruit can be for the island, and then this one can be the gold for the... can be for the shell. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. And then. Okay, so Ralph is telling us uh, oh. that almost all combinations of path tiles and symbols are there twice. Almost all. Uh, okay. So. All right. I don't think it's going to matter too much anyway, but it's just interesting to know. Okay. Um, I believe now I need to place that. Uh, where did I put it? <laughs> Moved it somewhere. Where's it gone? gone. <laughs> where has it gone? Did it? <laughs> if anyone spots it. Uh... Well, <laughs> oh, there it is. It's right there. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, I think um, I think that's my turn done now. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna Stop. I'm gonna sail over here and mm -hmm. take this tile. Okay. So that's one sail, one tile, one and blue, then one red, and a green, a herb. I'm gonna do double herb. And another herb. Okay. That goes on there, and you are done. Done. Right. Son of it, you'll go. I'm going to spend a purple token to uh, turn the main bonfire one space. Yeah. And yeah. then it's going to be on the special tile, right? This one? So yeah. You yeah. take that. Yeah. And the shells, I'm yeah. just going to take the two of those. I'm just trying to grab it and I just do something with my camera. <laughs> yeah, just just play along. I'm just okay. going to grab the two things. I just need some time doing it. So just play along. You're not oh. trying to pick up the thing that's printed on the board, are you? Yeah, I'm kind of oh. doing that. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> that yeah, explained you, a lot. You're not the first oh, person okay. to try and do that. Why is it not Thank being picked you. up? <laughs> So if I if you're okay with me carrying on taking my turn, is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. as moved, yeah. Boat, and then if I'm correct, I can pull one of those guardians off the board from where if I'm on an island, is yep. that right? Yeah, absolutely. So you take the guardian okay. and you put it on your starting tile. Sweet. Right. Okay. Back to Tom. Yeah, the game's running really quick now, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, chugging along nicely, actually the bonfire so you're using two tiles as if it was one so i'll take the thing that I need. what software and equipment you're using for the broadcast i imagine you're okay to say yeah, uh yeah the yeah, but yeah it's probably best to keep this stream focused on the game itself if you, i i mean i i i have a board game geek guild the comments are in the show notes on on my guild there is a thread which covers all of the software and equipment that i'm using for the broadcast so yeah pop onto bgg guild number 2258 Everything is on there, so all of the information is on there. Uh, as it is at the moment, it might be changing. <laughs> I will keep that list up to date as I'm changing it. I think I saw you talk about that on Twitter. Yes, yes. I did spend <laughs> a lot of time last weekend looking at another piece of software that then turns out will not do what I want it to do. And I'm like, oh, right, okay. <laughs> so um, I need to plan, actually, my next turn. Who's going to Very little it? downtime in this day and game, uh, unless it's my turn now. Then I think it might be your turn. Yeah, I'm yeah. finished, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is your go. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to sail my boat again. Mm -hmm. And if I have looked correctly at the map, there's only two spaces down to these uh, white. There absolutely guardians. is. One to there and another one to there. And yeah. then I'm going to use my special tile to take one of the guardians. So now Boom. I have one of each color. You have one of each then, color, which means immediately, this, and this is a bonus action. Yeah, you, so I can have, do it right away. You have completed this task here. So you can put yes. this novice on any of these spaces in the High Council. Okay, perfect. So uh, then I can also go where I've done gone before. Yeah, because this is a white novice, so it can share a space with um, your other one. I kind of don't need any more, or I can't take any more guardians, I presume. Correct, yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm actually thinking of going over here and taking a... Uh... You get a specialist. Yes, because I want this specialist, actually, okay. because it seemed really cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you get that one for free. Oh. There we go. Yep. 
Oh, yes. And I'm done. OK, right. Um, back to you, Russ. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend this special tile, yeah. which can be two. Oh, and, it can, yes. But I think I'm just going to move it the bonfire. OK. Um, meaning I can complete this, and I'm going to take uh, a guardian token as well. Oh, wow. Right. So that's another task complete. That's another common task complete. So I can use this now as a yeah. bonus? Yeah. And I can put it on the same thing again as long as there's no other colored thing. You on can't it, right? put it on the same one as the white one. Now, just a yeah. quick note. You do yes. not have to complete this common task at the end of your turn. It is optional. Okay. You probably want to before somebody yeah. else does, but yeah. it is optional. You don't have to do it. But do I? can I do it later? You can. At the end of any of your turns in future. Oh, uh, then if that you one's have... pretty safe, to be honest. That one is pretty safe, yeah. Yeah. It's just whether I want the reward now. And the only other thing I have to worry about is if there's a specific action I wanted to do again. Exactly. Like, that like somebody that, else the might then grab. Snipe. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's have a look. That one is... This one is take a guardian from anywhere. Uh, take a guardian, yeah, or get a point. Um, that one's take a path. That one's yeah. two gold. And uh, that one's looking pretty good for me because I need resources and I'll get a tile which I can use as a double thing. Yes. So I think um, I think I might do that. I'll just do it. do it. Okay. Yeah. So, so end I'll of your turn, over, that goes two there. Two gold and a tile. Two gold and a tile, yep. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, right. Tom. Okay. I am just going to spend all of this and get all of that. Wow. Okay, cool. Okay. So Tom now and... has seven Are you gonna complete it? Yeah. Okay. Right. So there's one more till <laughs> I the told countdown. you it was gonna escalate. Oh, I did so... tell you it was gonna speed up. If I there's only five turns a... left. This is put a guardian anywhere. This is can take I a just... guardian. So can I just I would skip getting any resources there. Ah, no, but... that's that's not that one. That's this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. You can do it. It is move a guardian to anywhere, including onto a bonfire or wherever. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm doing that. Oh, I'm doing things in the wrong order then. Yeah. Because uh... you've not done this task yet, have you? I will. Or, then. or have you? I've done it, but I haven't. Oh, you haven't done it. Done it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I can move the bonfire anywhere, though. Where Where is that? That's that, here, isn't that's it? That's here, yeah. So that's now full. So I will move that there. Yeah. And take that I need. And a... I don't need a path, do I? So I'll take a gold. You do not need a green tile, no. Right, so let's just have a count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine novices in the High Council. The next novice will trigger the end of the game. <laughs> or will trigger, right. the, trigger the countdown. Yeah. Right, uh, that was yellow. Back to blue. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about lighting the bonfire there, but... Um... I just, I thought the bonus was a little better than it actually is. So, what can I use resources for? Okay. I kind of have too much resources. I don't know what to do with them at this point. Um, uh, wait, this, uh, I'm looking over at the islands here, Paul. Uh, mm -hmm. This one, is it just... Spend or is it half? It's just have three herbs. As long as you have three okay. herbs, that's that complete. Because I kind of got that. You do? Oh, uh, we have to refill the. Nope, this what is, is empty. Called? The elders. Oh, the, no. the paths. Or... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah well spotted. Me and, pa me and Paul both fell for. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of want that one, but I just. I. I I'm unsure, like, how many points it nets me when I, I don't have any of the portals. So but... the bonfires at the moment are just worth the value that's printed on them, if they're yes. lit. 
If they're lit, yes. If they are lit. So if you wanted this one, which is worth five, you're going to have to get there and then um, take it and then in future complete it. And at the moment, you yeah. don't have the tiles to be able to get there or take it. Yeah, so that's a little so tricky. It's, yeah. Mm, yes. Okay. So I'm just looking at the bonuses again. And yes, okay. I'm thinking. Okay, so I'm going to take a path tile. So okay. I'm just going to take the red one and so we can on. move on with taking, our lives. Taking your path tile will cost you two green action tiles. Oh, yeah. So I yeah. can't afford Unfortunately, that. you don't have two green ones. Oh, I forgot. Okay. So I, I really want to... Okay, so my thought was that I could get one of my dudes into the higher council yep. so I can take this bonus. But it, my, I have no free spot for my my guardians at this no, time. No, you can so move any I, guardian forwards or backwards, however many spaces you want to. Okay. But for you, that would basically mean moving a guardian onto there. And that's all it would that's do. That's really. pretty boring. Yeah. Because I need a portal to get. Yeah. Okay, so there's I mean, no taking way. taking another uh, taking a green action tile will mean next turn you can then buy your next path. How can I take that? Um, if you were to complete this task now, because you can, yeah, you could then put the novice on here. Yeah, that's true. That's, okay, that's one option. Um, yeah, let's do that. Oh, there's a, there's another option as well. Is just taking a okay. path tile for free. Here. Oh. Yeah, that is just take a path tile. Oh yeah, I didn't see that one. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. Yeah. Perfect. So I'm flipping this one over, yep. trying to, and then I'm putting Put this the one there. over Now it's actually here. take any path tile you want. So it can be from any one of these, or it can be one from the stack. It's completely up to you. You can take anything. Oh, if there was a I should have known color. that when I tried to get the blue one like ages ago. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the red one right now. Okay. Yep. Take that one. Thing. Right, okay, so what that has done is there are now 10 novices in the High Council. Uh, so yeah, so that triggers the end of the game. So what happens is, Russ, as the start player, mm -hmm. we're going to give you this big pile of tiles here. Mm -hmm. There we go, right. So these are yours, which is why the edge of your board is slightly um, different. Yeah. Okay, the number on top is an indicator to you of how many turns you have left in the game. Okay. So you, you're going to take a turn now, knowing that you've got five turns left. Then what you mm -hmm. do is you take this number five and you give it mm -hmm. to Tom. Okay. Tom then knows he's got five turns left. Tom then gives it to Sonova. Instead of it then coming back to you, it's removed from the game and you now know that you've got four turns left. Okay, so that's okay. how that works. At any point when you are about to take a turn in this, in this final countdown, mm -hmm. you can say, no, I'll tell you what, I'm out. I don't want to play anymore. I've had enough. And what you will do is you will immediately gain victory points according to the number of turns that you have left to take. Uh, but once you're out, you're out. It's a one-off payment. It's not five, then four, then three, then two, then one. It, mm -hmm. It's just a one-off payment. When the one tile has been all the way around the board, that's when the game actually ends. Mm -hmm. And then we do final scoring. Okay. Okay, so Russ, do you want five points or do you want to carry on playing? Carry on playing. Okay. Definitely. Um, <laughs> hmm. That is an interesting mechanic. Mm. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I, I try to remember which games I've seen it in before, but but it, none comes to mind right now. Hmm. Sorry, guys. I am just thinking. It's all right. We put the yeah, pressure on. Yeah, should you go for the <laughs> five points instead? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Assuming um, you're going to get more than five points in the next five turns, then yeah, you don't want to pass. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, you've got six right there. I. 
I think it's a bit risky to do what I was going to do. Actually, I could do it. Okay. Um, um, <laughs> just debating whether to move my guardians right now. Mm -hmm. um, actually, you I mean, could potentially move them three spaces. Three. Yeah. Oh, by using the wild. Yeah, white tile, wild, and your bonus for your specialist would allow each of your guardians to move three spaces, which would get this one. Oh, no, you yeah. can't protect the bonfire because the bonfire's not lit yet. Yeah, I know, but I could do that now. I could I could flip it as my turn. You could flip it as your turn, yeah, and then move the yeah. guardians in next time. You know what? Let's do that because it's I'm having mm -hmm. a... So. <laughs> so I'll take this guy who's finally okay. going to come into play where is uh, he gonna go well i wanted to move the ship around a little bit i think but um actually i could go there um what are the options again right so this one's place a tile uh, place fake a fake tile, tile move, move your boat to anywhere and you can then do the normal thing that you can do when you've moved your boat yeah uh, take a guardian take a can't guardian do... can't do that move. one can't do that one Move a guardian to anywhere, including in uh, through a portal. Yeah. Uh, this one was... Move a guardian to anywhere? Wow. That's yeah. Pretty... Uh, this one is take a path tile. Hmm. And then the last one is get lots of free stuff. I just don't... I, 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 I'm, I'm suffering from this thing, and this is a classic thing uh, probably with Feld Games. <laughs> I'm suffering from a thing where I, I want to be able to do more than I actually can. So it's that's, just about optimizing. Yeah. Um, it was fine before, but as soon as you realise you've got five turns left, you're like, yeah. oh, right, okay, well. Yeah, five turns is the killer here. Mm -hmm. um, I've got basically another thing here I can do. So I, what I want to try and do is... Um, what I want to try and do is... Quite silly, though. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to just... Uh, not move my things, but take another. Take another. Um, take another guardian. No, I don't. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There's no point playing a thing now. I'm not going to have enough turns to do what I want. Have I got three tiles left, and I've got two flippy things, so I shouldn't take more tiles. Um, no. I'll. I need what I would like is a red, a red offering thing that I can do. But there's no, what's that one? That's have three of those. Uh, that yeah, is, that's have three herbs. And that, that one is three on leafy islands, which I don't have. Uh, um, two. two. Two on rings. Yeah. Uh, this one I wouldn't be able to do either. No. Not in time. So yeah, I don't think there's any red one I could do. I could if I I could potentially do this one. So that's have a connected group of three or more. White tiles and a connected group yeah, of three or more. Yeah, you don't have the white ones. That's right, of course, because of the way that's set up. Okay, so not yeah. that one. So maybe a yellow one then, because I can get somebody in there. And the yellow ones that I could potentially do, I'd have to complete two offerings there. That one's three red paths, which I wouldn't be able to do. Um, that one's yeah. two on two. Yellow ones at this stage are going to be tricky unless you've... Yeah. Oh, yeah. man, I don't think I can do it. I don't no, think I, don't I think can. You can. Would it still benefit me, though, to take one, even if just because it's matching? How many points would that gain me? Two. Two points just would for it, having no, one. No, it, it has to be um, a bonfire. It has to be lit. Oh, so yeah, no point. So, yeah. I don't like this. <laughs> it's all right. We're but, ruling things out. So you're not going to take a task. You're not going to take yeah. a path tile. Yeah. So um, maybe just... The reason why I'm thinking Guardian, Russ, is yeah. if you take a third Guardian, the next yeah. turn, when you do move your Guardian's three spaces... I can move it because I move them I can move them further spaces. If I was only moving one, it would block the one in front, right? Oh, no, hang on. I was thinking you could go in there, but you can't. Yeah, no, forget that. No, but are they not worth more the further along they go? Only if they are guarding a bonfire. Yeah, but if I say, um, got some paths, maybe... Yeah. Then 
I could. So maybe, maybe. Well, I'm or yeah. Maybe taking a guardian. Wait, the next thing I can do because I've got another flippy thing is I could take a path. Yeah, and um, then fact, you probably want to get. Let's do that now. You want, yeah, let's do that now. Do that now. Hey. Do that now because then I can um, then I can take that red one while it's still yeah. available. Sort so it. This one here. Okay, good. Done. There we go. Right. Next. Ooh. There we go. There we go. So Boom. you pass your you pass this five tile to Tom. Tom now has yes. five turns okay. left. All right. I'm going to think about my next turn. I'm going to yeah. do this task and do the which is the one? Is this the one that moves the guardian? Moves the guardian anywhere? Which is he going to go all the, the way around and in? Look at that. <laughs> Nicely done. Wow. So it actually goes on there, but yeah. Okay, and then you pass this five tile on to Sunova. Yes, I'm going to keep playing as well. Um, you have five turns left. Yes. So I uh, I just need one card token necessarily to buy a um, an elder card. Yeah. Which so elder would I'm you going like? to use the one for the um, guardians. guardians. Yeah. So I think spend... that will give me the most. Yeah. So you spend one tile so... and two blossoms. Yes, I'm going to do that. So and that is yours. That is my turn. So you get an immediate five points. Yes. Whoa! Yeah. I have points. You I'm have happy points. about that. Right. And this now goes out of the game. That goes out of the game. Russ, you now have yep. four turns left. So um, I oh, will. Tense. Yeah. <laughs> I will, um, I'll think I'll flip, well, actually, I could get more re- So the thing is, that one's going to count as um, three spaces, right? But I, if I move them with this one, they can mm -hmm. move forward a little, well, you know, let's say I move forward one space just so I get that gold, because then it's better for me, I guess. And then the next one, I can spend that and move them the three spaces so I can complete. Yeah, if you need the gold. Yeah. Um, I'm just wondering then if I wish I had like a um, a token that let me um, get a what was I thinking like get me another path mm. there's no other way to get a path is there no uh, the common goals six goals. Um, yeah oh, what okay. have we got we've got seven tasks or bonfires we have six gnomes yeah. that's it that's just yeah. no okay fair enough so I will oh I've just realized something so, okay, <laughs> so there is something I think I might have done slightly wrong in setup. No, maybe I didn't. I might be getting confused with a different game. Ignore me, move on. I'm going okay. to just check something in the rules. It would just be so nice to get that uh, that path. We're not going to change it now anyway, but <gasps> um, I just suddenly thought, but I have learned two other games today, so I might be getting them mixed up. Yes, I think I'm getting them mixed up. That's fine. Um. I had a boat and an offering. Maybe, right, I'm just going to plan this out on my head because yeah. I think I could do So if I did that, then I'd have my next turn. I would. Hmm. No, I don't think it's going to be enough. I think I'd just have to settle for moving two of these guardians. Whoa, look at Tom's guardians. Shh, don't look at Tom's guardians. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, where's Tom? Oh, he's only got one. I Sorry, I thought the gnomes yeah, I've never, were, I've never... Uh, novices were guardians. I was like, no, that's no, no. amazing. He's, just got, he's got one in because he used the cheaty uh, move as far as you can. Um, I'm going to move then. I'm going to spend this. Yeah. I'm going to move these. Uh, I guess I guess them further on is fine because then I can complete them both. Move them two spaces? Yeah. So you get a fruit so, and a root. And, uh, yeah, there we go. And I think I'm done then. A okay. fruit and a root. Tom. Uh, oh, you've got the four token. Okay. Four turns left. Hmm. I think think i'm just wondering whether it's worth carrying on yeah because if you take one of these tiles that's you lose oh, that's three losing. points yeah i think maybe i could make a couple of points if i stayed in but but then if someone like with one of these mm -hmm. cards if it got taken away then i'd have lost a load of points i think i'm just gonna i'm gonna stop there okay and get so four. four points for yellow and tom is now out oh yeah, wow I'm I'm kind of yeah. wondering the same thing okay. because there's so many steps to do anything like logical, but it, yeah. but it it means that I basically just need to net one point around to get four points in total. So mm -hmm. 
Um, but just can you do that? Trace. Yeah, uh, first off, to do anything, I need to take uh, a Paul Fate, fate file. Fate yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> uh, that is the first thing I have to do. So, yeah. Are, is resources worth anything? Every two resources is worth a point. Yeah, because I can easily get four points just in resources by by sticking around a little longer. Yeah. Uh, because I have so many guardians. Yep. Wait, every two is worth one? Every two is worth a point. Yes, okay, so... Just hang on, what do I want to do then? But remember, using a fate tile is going to also cost you three points. Oh, that is true, so then I have to then, like, generate seven points. Mm -hmm. That is a lot. It is. Suddenly. Yeah. yeah. There is a way you can do it. Do you want me to give I, you a hint? I no, I, I think if I put this one here, it will give me a lot of tiles. And then I can use two and two to just get enough of these cards. Yeah. So I can get the points there. That's, that's what I was thinking. I mean, that's yes. four points. But whether... Well, it's four points. Plus, if you take this one, that will be another four or five points. Yes, so I think so, that, and and I have the resources you, for it right you, now. Are you placing a fate tile, by the way? Yeah, I need to do that to do anything more. Okay. Shall I just take my turn then, or is it gonna? Well, yeah, no, I just yeah, think sort of is deciding right. whether to play or pass. If you're gonna play, yes. then yes, taking a fate tile is is the next thing to do. All right. Okay, it's it's Sweet. more fun to take a fate tile than to pass. Yeah, so I'm trying to do that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> let's that keep is, going. Uh, Right. Um, all right, so I'm going to spend a card and these two gold yeah. um, to take this elder here. Okay, which gets you six seven points. Bucks. I can do One, that. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven points. He's seven off. points. And then, and then obviously it depends on what uh, son of a yes. does next, but I'm going to hand the token over. <laughs> you can either get three points or take another turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I will absolutely take another turn. Now I, yeah. I have to step in with my whole foot. <laughs> okay, I, I just tried to turn this around. Okay, you you t took your turn so quickly. I know. I, I, the last two turns <laughs> were not quick, but that He's one is planned. redeeming me. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one having a hard time thinking sometimes, though. So oh, I appreciate like... you taking a little time. <laughs> <laughs> I can come uh, far a bit if you want to make it. Need another better. one? There you go. I'm giving you another one. Yeah, thank you. And I need a purple and purple. a red. And a red. And okay. also the special one that I covered up underneath. Oh, oh right. was it a gold? It was, no, it was a wild action tile. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Oh, okay, so I'm. Um, all those tiles. It's so <laughs> many. <laughs> it's crazy. Right. So I have three more turns, right? You yes. do, yes. And I need two more cards. So uh, I. Just going to start off by using two of these card tokens mm -hmm. and one resource. What do I want to do? You know what? My, oh, you were talking about the bonds on the bottom. I see. Never mind. Yes. That's going to so, limit what you can take because the resources you pay are the ones on the card. So you can take the one on the right, and that's probably the best one for you because of all of those tiles you placed. Yeah. And that costs you gold, but you won't be able to take the other one because... There, you don't have the right resources. She's got a shell here. You can use two for one, right? And you can use two for one. Yeah. Oh, then you yes. can take anything. Yeah, you got loads. You can take yes. any of the cards. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Yeah, and uh, w wait, uh, Russell, are you in position to grab one of those cards from me at any uh, time yeah. soon? Uh, no, don't worry about me. I'm not going to. I've taken the only card that I was going to take. Yeah, you can't take one. Oh, okay, so I'm. I'm then I'm more like better off taking this one next turn. Yeah. So, okay. So which one will net me most points of the other ones? I think it's the one it's that you've one. got your hovering right over now, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Then I'm going to take those. That's That cost me two gold. Two gold uh, yeah. and a tile and gets you six points. Yes. I've already spent the tiles. Technically no. two, two cards and one gold. That is right, because I've already spent two of two yeah. tiles. So okay, two tiles and a gold. gold. Okay. Yes, yeah. I'm taking that and I just need to pay a gold so you can go on, Russell. Okay, Russ, you have two turns left. All right, so I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna take that guardian. 
um, take that guardian. Where's the one that gets me a guardian? Uh... Actually, don't tell me. I yeah, it's here. It's this one. Okay. Phew. I was, yeah. That was I based my whole plan around. <laughs> Let me do that. Um, there's no difference to the colors, is there? You, you can't have two of the same, so yeah. Oh, I got the I got the points for it, or I gave you the points, yeah. Oh, thank you. I yeah. totally forgot. <laughs> um, there's your number yeah. two token. Two turns left. Yes. Now I'm going to go for another card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing the same, and then I want the this one. Yeah, that one. Yes. Gets you six points. And. I need to pay one shell for that. Yep. So it gets you nice. six yes. points and you also and... place this novice. Nice. Oh, that is true. That's so good. Uh, where do I want to put that now? Well, this is at the point in the game where you might want the one point. Oh, yeah, actually. Yeah. Um... Wait, if she places another fate tile, well, that, the, the tiles don't get her points, do they? Yeah, fate tiles left get three points. Uh, oh, le the left ones. The ones three. that are left over, yeah. But what about um, special? Uh, action? Hang, hang on, I think we might have accidentally cheated. Oh. Son of, Son of a, did you take the fate tile from the middle? Oh, yeah. I think you did. Wait a second. I don't think it would have mattered hugely because even if... Um, oh, yeah, I totally one. did. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, okay. I, I just... I think you can retcon it because you had enough resources to be able to yes. pay for the resources instead of cards. Yes. yes. So you just get one less... Uh, well... Yeah, I'm just going to do this one, yeah. Paul. Okay. And I, I'm just going to... Uh, backtrack a little bit. My... Um, I, I'll... I, Hang on a minute. Just realise you won't have any card tokens. If you no, don't. but you can use two for one. Yeah, I can do. That's so fine. Yeah, you, okay. you, yes. you can do it. So that is my plan. Yeah, it just means you you'll have a few less tokens. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm just going to backtrack a little. So this one and this one goes away, and I'm I'm taking these ones. Um, I'm just uh, going to do my last turn because I know what it is. Yeah, yes. yeah. You do your last so turn. I that special tile and I move this guardian into here. Yeah. And I move this guardian into here. Nice. And then I move this guardian up here. Why, why not? That's going to. That's probably good. It's <laughs> a resource. Think, yeah. And uh, and then I'm done. Right. So. And that was your last turn, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah. So I've yeah. just passed that one token over in case. So, son of a, you've got one, one more turn. Yeah. Uh, so I'm um, I'm I'm doing. I have to retrace a few steps because I have to get this right. Yeah. And oh, you've then... also got this novice to place. Yes. Which... So I've got these two things. Yeah. So okay. So now I'm just need to pay for what I've missed. Uh huh. So I'm paying these and uh, these. Oh, sorry. Um... Yep. And this and this. Yep. That's right, right? That's I honestly wasn't more. following. Because these two... These are, these are replacing the two card tokens that I used. Yes. You spent four card and tokens. These, yeah, and these are replacing the other two card tokens that I okay. used. So the first gnome that you took, this required two tokens and a resource. So that was that. Yeah, so I've paid one resource because I've done that yep. right. And this and one. And then I use one resource more and two tokens to pay for the one token. Yeah, but it needs to be two of the card tokens and you don't have any of those. So it yeah, would have yeah, to be yeah, this as well. But no, no, no. Uh, I, I paid one resource before. Okay. Because I paid two card oh, tokens that I thought yeah. that I had and one resource. So then yeah. I spent one more resource and two tokens to compensate for the card token. Okay, we're all good then. So in to yeah, so in total I've paid two resources and one card token. Yeah. So I'm doing that once more and then I've bought everything legally. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> thank we've got you for telling me that I uh, I did something That's wrong. Okay. So we've and got then this... I have to place that one. Yeah. And that is basically like Shall we um wake Tom up at this point? Yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Are we just going to just going to give you the point? Yeah, I don't I don't see anything like majorly 
I can good for me. No, nope. don't think there is. No, nope. okay. I'm, I'm and taking it is now, one point. It is now your last turn. Would you like to take a turn or would you like to quit and get a point? No, I would like to take a turn. Okay. And I would use this one to gain some resources because that will sure, net me that's, yeah. two points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just moving everything one space. Everything moves one space and you get a whole bunch of oh. stuff. Oh. So yeah. I get two gold, four flowers and two leaves. Oh, it's for every one. Yes. Or I, I, I'm I, just presuming. Or wow. no, it's just a grey one. I think it's just a grey one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm happy either way. Yeah, it's just a yeah. grey one. Okay, right. So, so I'm, we I'm, are I'm just... we are all done. It is time to do the final scoring. So first of all, everybody score for your lit bonfires. If you just let me know what you've scored, and I will I will adjust the points. So Russ, how many lit bonfires have you got? Um, four. Yep. Yeah. Total points. Four. Oh God, I I you had me thrown because I was adding them. Up. Right, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, uh, twelve. 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 Points. Twelve onto yeah. seven is nineteen. Right, Tom. Points from lit bonfires. Nine. Nine. Okay. And son of a? Eight. Eight. Uh, 26. Right. Okay. Next is guardians that are protecting bonfires. All right. So, Two. Russ. Uh, now, how many points from them? Oh. Um, so it's two, three, four, five. So you've got five and a four. It's a tiny uh, little number just, just here. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Sorry. I. Uh, I, I take full responsibility for not knowing that. All right, so nine points. Uh, Tom? Eight. I think yours is eight one. points. Yeah, the last one is worth eight. Uh, Son of a, you don't have any guardians protecting bonfires. Okay, next That's up. Right. Uh, lit bonfires next to portals. Russ, how many? Four. Four, Four of them. Two yeah. points each. That is eight yeah. points. Tom? Three of them. Six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Son of a, no portals. Yes, okay. that's right. Next, uh, lit bonfires next to path tiles of a matching colour. Two. Two so, of them at two points each. Yeah. That's 40 points. Tom? Three of them. Three of them at six points. Two, um, four points. Two, four points. One, two, three, four. Okay, next is completed tasks. So let's go through the task. Task number two, which was for having seven portals, I think, is just Russ. Yeah. So four points. The next task is for having seven paths, which I think is just Tom. Mm -hmm. The next one is for oh, having I six gnomes. I forgot that more people could have those. <laughs> Two, three, four. Yeah, same, actually. Yeah. I did. I think I'd have changed my plan, though. And the last one yeah, is for I five guardians. Totally one, two, three, four, five guardians. There you go. Right. And now we have remaining fate tiles. Five. Did you just five points for for the guardians? It should have been four. You, I, I, I only because you said you said I said five, four, five yeah, like, and you kept five. moving. I didn't know if you'd. Um, sorry, we yeah. can check that back anyway. We can check it back, yeah, if it matters. Okay, so yeah. fate tiles, Russ, you have four fate tiles left, mm -hmm. which is twelve points. So you are on fifty-six. Okay. There we go. Tom, you have three tiles left, which is nine points, putting you on 52. Son of a, you have two left, which is six points, putting you on 44. And then finally, add up the total number of tiles and resources you have left, divide by two and round down. One. So Russ gets one. Tom? One. And son uh, of a? Three. Three. One, two. Oh, uh, tokens, two? Yeah. Uh, so four then. So four in total. And there we go. That is the final score. So Russ wins Wait, with 57. I, hang on. I think she has one more point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, uh, yeah, it's you're rounded right, sorry. down. Yeah, yeah I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> so congratulations, Russ. Green wins with 57. Uh, then we have Tom with 53 and Son of a with 48. So fairly close. Just a few points in it. Thank you for a good game, fun. everyone. Thank you very I'm much. Really so do you want to know the worst thing about this and the worst thing about tonight? Yes. Yeah. I wasn't playing. Yeah. <laughs> it was about an hour in and I'm sitting here going, oh, I wish I was playing this. This is really good. <laughs> I'm like, it's I mean, a I really love teach good game. Yeah, I love teaching games. But yeah, about an hour in, I was thinking, I really want to play this now. This is just brilliant. Um, I'm just 
I think it's brilliant. Yeah. I mean, I described this the first time I played it as classic Feld. Mm -hmm. And I think it is. I think it's got all of the hallmarks of a Feld game. But I am one of those people. Because I know Stefan Feld games, there's a lot of people out there that don't like them. And I've got some friends of mine that actually don't like his games and say that all his games are the same. And I've been saying for years that whilst his games have a similar feel to them, every single one of his games for me is different. Now, some of them have shared mechanisms. That's, that's you know, that's it. But every one of his games is different. And this game was clearly one of his games, but it still feels different for me than his others. So there you go. That, that was my opinion on it. Tom, you've played probably the, the most Feld games, maybe? Maybe. Oh, definitely more than me. <laughs> <laughs> definitely more than Russ. I don't know anyone who's played the football one, though, apart from Rado. There's a football what game? Oh, <laughs> I didn't know about that. Because like, I think it was it was his mission once upon a time to do all of the... To do all of them. Step so he's dug out all of wow. the ones. Wow. But yeah, it feels more like... It definitely feels more like a classic one where we just... All go off and do a load of things and then do a load of things and it all adds up in the end yeah uh, i'm just reading in the comments i'm sorry uh yeah. rafael says that uh he doesn't think that we score all the general actions during the game you scored tom's at the beginning but not sure about the rest i'm unsure what he right. means could someone check uh, yeah i'm not sure i mean we can watch the video back to see but i'm not sure if, it's if... not important for me i had a blast anyways but i just curious if there yeah. was something we, we missed. We, we but... can check that back because the only things that scored during the game, I think. I'm pretty sure I didn't score anything during the game. Great. I, yeah. I think the yeah. the things that I scored, I, I did it's the right these. way. You do not score these during the game. These are all scored at the end of the game. Yeah, that's true. So the question we is. We just put out the. Did yeah. we accidentally score something, one of these during the game? I don't think we did, but. Yeah, not sure. We can we can check back. We can check back later on, uh, and and see. It would have been a four point difference if we had have done that, if we just scored somebody's incorrectly. But yeah, we can we can go back and check that. But yeah, Wait, you're absolutely yeah, right. These common tasks you do not score them during the game. They are they are end of the game scoring. Um, mm, yes. Yeah. Cool. So Sunova, how did you find it then? And how how many Feld games have you played before? Uh, I've played a. I feel like I've played a lot. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I can't count them at a the moment. But <laughs> I, I, I think this feels absolutely different enough mm -hmm. to like be its own game, and I feel like he really brings something new to this game every with everything he publishes. Uh, this actually might become one of my favorites i don't know yet i'm yeah. really excited to actually have the physical copy in front of me and i don't know yeah <laughs> not uh, flip things accidentally over <laughs> yeah the tabletopia uh, interface does make things a little trickier than it would be in real yeah, life but, but it was fun anyways yeah. but uh, what i really enjoy in this game is uh, that it feels kind of like uh, it feels kind of like, uh, you know, in uh, Bora Bora, when you need to get the most points, you need like all of the things in one thing. Mm -hmm. And to get a lot of the other uh, other bonuses, you need all of those uh, aspects fitting together. Yeah. So you kind of have to really be efficient and prioritize where to yeah put your power, really. Yeah. And also, it feels kind of like these little mini games in Trajan as well. Yes. So it, it, he really has taken a lot of inspiration from his other great games. But, but I, I think this this works together really well. It's and it looks beautiful too. I yeah. I'm excited for this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the game is the game has gone to print. Okay, so there are no physical copies really that exist. There's a pre-production copy I think uh, that was out there to be used to make a video. Uh, but the game has gone to print and it will be available in retail uh, October. Um, you know, Hall Games and Pegasus don't use Kickstarter or anything like that for it. So it will be just available later in the year. Uh, I will be creating one of my full on how to play videos for this game. Once once there is a copy with me, that is that is planned, uh, which I'm which I'm very excited about. So, yeah, 
it's just uh, it's just really time to wrap things up and say thank you to everybody obviously for playing tonight just go through everybody again and just let everybody know where they can find you on social media and on youtube same order as before uh, yeah, uh, let's do it. Um, you can find me and Johannes at Board Gaming Ramblings on YouTube. We are at the same tag on both Instagram and Twitter. But if you want to see our actual stuff, YouTube is the best yeah. way to go. So check us out. Yeah. It was so nice playing with you guys. I yeah. uh, haven't actually yeah. talked to you, Tom and Russell, before. So it's so nice playing with you. Uh, thank you so much. The same, same feelings cool. back to you. I really enjoyed um, I, I mean, I'm talking, I guess I'll just go next. Yeah, yeah uh, go ahead. Uh, so I'm on, um, so I'm on Instagram. I'm on a lot of social medias, but if, if you're looking for me on Instagram or Twitch or, um, YouTube, um, you'll just find me as like four chits and giggles. So F O R C H I T S and giggles. Um, but if you want to find me on Twitter, which is probably like my most active um, thing, it's number four chits N giggles but yeah if you just search for me on, on any of those we'll platforms you can find me yeah so and uh, again i want to echo i had a really lovely time again i haven't played anything with tom or, or son of before and it's been really nice i've really enjoyed the game as well cool that's good and, and tom just a reminder where people can find you i i am slicker drips on youtube everywhere drips.co.uk and on other places yeah but yeah youtube's where it's all at and you will be, grid you'll be back to doing more videos soonish stops i mean you did your top 10 solo games recently oh yeah yeah that went up didn't it yeah it's it's blur now <laughs> so i haven't filmed all this you can watch my top 10 solo games two two so what i don't know what you call that it sounds it seems weird to call it top 10 again more top, top 10 11. <laughs> <laughs> my next top 10 it's, it's, it's let's talk about 10 solo games but people don't search for that yeah, no, exactly. Top tens, uh, top tens are very popular. I should do more of them. Right. right okay. Maybe. So yeah, thank you very much to Ralph for being in the chat. Uh, Ralph is the owner, and uh, yeah, he's the guy that runs uh, Hall Games. Uh, he did the de development work on the game, and he's the publisher. So he's he's fully involved in this game. Every game that comes out from Hall Games, whilst they don't make many games, they all have a certain quality about them because uh, Ralph is fully involved in, in the whole process. Uh, and yeah, thank you, obviously, for, for asking me to create this video. But that's it. I will say goodnight to everybody for watching. Thank you very much. Please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is the start of UK Games Expo. It is virtual, so it's virtually expo. That starts tomorrow, and I will be live streaming non-stop from four o'clock tomorrow until it ends, which is Sunday afternoon. So yeah, there'll be lots of videos coming from me over the next uh, three days on the YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for those. Uh, and that's everything. So yes, I will say good night. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.